Welcome back to Kind of Funny's DCEU in review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing every movie in the DC Extended Universe. I'm Tim Geddes. This beautiful bastard is Andy Cortez. Don't hate hey, Does it feel don't. right, Andy? Does it feel right? Feels real good, guys. Man, we couldn't get gloves that fit, though, huh? I mean, One I size fits all. I don't Robin. even know if they're gloves, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shape, guys. <laughs> 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 they might be can extended I get the one toe on, socks. On these, like, they don't really... <laughs> like, that's like, some they, toilet toad no ass form, shit if I ever no, saw it. That's not much of anything. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like when you when you when you decide to just make something without some sort of roadmap or like plan yeah. for it. You just cut them out yourself, and they kind of work. They're yeah. like whole cans. We've talked about this, of course, somewhere in the middle of the Man of Steel two and a half hour nightmare. I'm sorry to have to do this, but I just have to dust off the files that I know are radioactive and say it reminds me of that episode of the Cosby Show. Mm-hmm. Remember when Theo wanted that really expensive shirt? And then Denise, uh, 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 Lisa Bonet made yeah. it for him or whatever. Denise, Why am I? Is it? Yeah, okay. It was yeah, yeah. So, Sha- Sandra was the, the eldest. The oldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Elvin? Yeah, exactly. Right? Elvin? Elvin. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. yeah. Elvin Thibodeau. Elvin, don't forget. Yeah. Don't fucking Elvin, put some way, respect on the name Elvin Thibodeau. Elvin never got any respect from any of the family. They always thought he was kind of like secondary. He was awesome. I mean? El- well, I mean, uh, remember, great, he was actually really, he was a chauvinist piece of shit. We have Kevin Coelho as well. Big dog, Kevin Coelho. We have Greg Miller. We have Nick Scarpino. Dark Knight. Right. It's, it's a dark night. Dark night. Right. 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 Suicide Squad. Uh, suicide Squad. Wait, what is that? <laughs> this is DC Interview. Every week, you can watch live on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, or you can watch it later on youtube.com slash kindoffunny, roosterteeth.com. You can search for Kind of Funny Reviews on your favorite podcast service, and you can listen to us. You can get the show ad-free by going to patreon.com slash kindoffunny. And ladies and gentlemen, so many of you did. And you are now Patreon producers for yeah. the month of February. Yeah. But let's get our first round of February Patreon producers. The nanobiologist, Frank Furter, Mohammed Mohammed, Justin Toft, Das Bear Jew, Blackjack, and Jarrett Brown. What are they? Some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> <laughs> When we go to lunch later, can we keep this joke going? Today we're we are Chipotle talking about what what Suicide Squad. Kind of TGF Fridays? Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Suic- <laughs> TGF Fridays Squad. Squad. I'm bringing the heat today, guys. Bringing the heat. Uh, we're talking about Suicide Squad, released on August 5th, 2016. And I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget us going to Alamo Draft House, excited to watch this movie. And then they were just like, I. The projector's broken. No, no, it was a power outage in the mission. Remember, there were square, square blocks of it. And I will never forget looking at Colin, and he just went, sign from God, I'm going home. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. And then we had a panic, and we booked Uber fucking SUVs. We had a panic, and we went to, to rush. Panfran. We rushed across the city Ugh. to make sure we saw this to do an in-review for it. Yeah. Or a whatever. A we didn't call them in reviews. Kind of funny reacts back yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah, we Ooh. did it. We, we did were, it. You know, we did it. We were very, very bitter on it. Worth, very, very broken. Worth every second we spent seeing that movie. That, that movie day. probably, if you get in the SUV Ubers and everything else, we had Rich George running around with us too. Right. It was that probably set kind of funny back one hundred seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have the Alamo Draft House like rain day. Voucher. Rainy I'll take day, it if you don't want. I'll give it to you. Oh, yeah. I'll take yeah. it. Um, excited, to see, excited to see Bird Spray there this week. <laughs> Released uh, on um, August fifth, twenty sixteen. Really quick, I'm going to try to pull up. Uh, someone posted in the Reddit of. Like the original video of you guys reacting, I just want to pull up. We opened it very like, specifically. Yeah, yeah. of us. Uh, Bottle yeah, of bourbon, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all of us head and hands. I think me for sure, head and hands. Tim oh, just cool. took something. I think he has his license. Tim's out, got banana ring. Oh no, that's the that's the rain check, it. but it is gross. Wow, buddy, look at that. It's, it's stuck attached so to a Portillo's it's still gift card. <laughs> that's yours now. That's not going to work. That's 100% not going to work. No, I got it. As long as the... I know They don't put expiration dates on these. No, they can't legally. They're fucked up. There it is. That's that's how it opened. That's how I felt, too. That is exactly how I felt. I felt last night watching this fucking thing. I walked out of the theater, and I've never walked out of the theater feeling angry. And I got in my goddamn 2002 Honda Civic. (laughs) Started punching the wheel. And I just just sat there for... like. I'm not joking, guys. I didn't leave home. I just sat in my car Mm -hmm. for like 10 minutes and just like... How dare they? <laughs> like, I, how I felt like they, they offended me. You know what I mean? Like, how dare they waste my time, dude? It was just really, really bad. Directed Luckily, this time around, it's so good. <laughs> directed by David Ayer, an American film director, producer, and screenwriter. He wrote Training Day in 2001. He co wrote mm-hmm. The Fast and the Furious, 2001. And he directed Harsh Times, Street Kings, End of Watch, Sabotage, Fury, Suicide Squad, and Bright. Uh, real talk, end of watch was awesome. 
If you haven't seen that movie, it's really really good. Someone's training. Is that just? Is that one of the Justin uh, whoever? No, End of Watch. If I'm not mistaken, was Jake Gyllenhaal and I want to say Michael Pena. And it was just about them being cops and like friends. And it it was was really really very intense. Very intense. Very hard, like real look at like what being cops in LA is like. A budget of 175 million (laughs) dollars. A box office. Of seven hundred and forty six point eight million. This is the problem. We keep rewarding them for That's bad true. behavior. Yeah, I mean, dude, we keep going to see these stupid movies. Here's the thing: like this movie was a, a cultural pop shift. You know, like think about it. Like look at the colorings and like all of just the, the the imagery used. Like this is a hot topic dream, where it's just like I feel like kids these days are like inspired. Like Harley Quinn and this look for Harley Quinn is like like changed pop culture. Yeah, it's interesting though because there's so many choices in this movie that were made. That are just so on the nose, in your face. And I think that's kind of the style they were going for. And sometimes it actually, for me, it worked. And sometimes it does not work. Um, like I, little little I, touches like him having damaged tattoo on his forehead, the ha-ha-has, all that stuff. I'm like, this this is just so, this does not work for me at all. But then I, I like then I actually found myself really enjoying some of the like other costume choices. Like that fucking unbelievable, well, it's not costume, I guess it's a uh, prop choice. But that badass like... Infinity that he drives that's like mm. purple and like glowing. Really like this, cool that's looking. fucking cool. Um, I like that they that Jared Leto's take on the Joker. I mean, I was probably one of the only people in this, but I like his take on the Joker. I like that it's different. I like that it doesn't feel like Joker. And maybe it's you know in 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 the conspiracy universe, not the Joker. It's maybe Jason Todd. We don't know. Um, which would have been way better. Which would have been cool. I like the homage to the, him ju- jumping into the Acme chemicals and stuff like that. I think it's cool. This whole thing yes. kind of feels like a fever dream that works, and a little bit of it. I actually enjoyed it more watching it back again this time than I think I did the first time because I think obviously knowing what you're in for is different. I don't think it's a good movie by any stretch of the imagination, sure. but I found myself going like, oh, this could have been something really, really fun and different and like a cool one off like side story to like a, the, the bigger trilogy of the uh, it could uh, of have Justice been. League. A lot of could have. A lot of love. Yeah, this movie been. is like just such a tonal mess for me. It's. All over the well, place. It's an editing like, mess, also. And, and uh, well, I, a bit of that is because of the extended, ver- the extended version that we watch, which I kind of had to remind myself isn't a director's cut. This isn't a cut that was made by David Ayer to say like, well, this version actually tells a better story for here and that. No, they just throw extra footage in there that's still equally as useless and equally as bad. Eleven minutes more. The mo- yeah, I just think the movie's all over the place, and, and uh, th- there are some interesting, neat stylistic choices that they made, but. Yeah. In addition to that, to those cool stylistic choices, there's about a hundred other ones. And I just feel like this movie was touched by at least 20 different directors and writers, and they couldn't figure out what they wanted the audience to feel. It took itself way too serious, man. This movie is Why like... so serious? It, it's, it's joking at, a lot of parts, and it's point, supposed to be silly, yeah. but then they get really, really like, you're supposed to feel for... For Will Smith, the movie here. does really not know what it wants to it, be. It is a mess. It is, I mean, it, it, is, it does. It, it, is it a wants to be ass movie. Guardians of the Galaxy. A hundred percent. And it is. It just totally fails in in that regard at all. In terms of being serious, in terms of being funny, in terms of introducing you to characters you care about. hundred percent. Like I'm. I'm you don't with care you, about Jared, anybody in this movie. Jared, I'm with you, Nick. That uh, <laughs> the the Joker. <laughs> Uh, is He's very smart. I'll take it. Is, no, no, no. Jared Leto is what I was. Oh, thinking. I see. But um, the the Joker and Harley stuff is the stuff I liked most in this movie. I liked the take. I just think that I don't like it in, in the context of any of this. Yeah. But th- those are the only scenes that I'm like, I want to see more of this. I don't want to see didn't. any oh. of the other. See stuff. what what this movie was missing for me. Let me was... hold on real quick. I don't want to see more of this. I would rather see more of it than the rest of the stuff. I just thought Jared Leto was so like way too much. He man. was, and he was. But I think that was supposed to be the point. I think that's what they were going for. I think he wasn't like. I mean, I might be completely filling in the blanks on this, but I think what they were were going for was like, this isn't Joker that you know. This is like someone pretending to be mm-hmm. or wanting to be, or it's it's their version of what an homage to a joke would be in the in this universe. And it's like again, it's so over the top. Like I've talked about, the ha ha tattoos and shit are just so fucking on the nose. Um, but I'm like. But it almost reminds me of like, um, in a little bit, and follow me on this one, like a Kylo Ren to Darth Vader, where yeah. it's like, I want, I want to be this thing, but I'm not quite. I'm just a cheap facsimile of it. I think we're giving them too much credit. We probably are. We probably are. I think that like, uh, if they had explained that just a tiny bit, well, that mm-hmm. that yeah. would have been cool. But I feel like in the first few moments when they introduce Harley, we get the little splash that says that she Terrible. killed Robin, which doesn't make any sense then for that theory. I didn't notice that because it went by so fast. It went by so fast. See, and that's the problem. What this movie really needed was eight other movies where every single person in this cast was a bad guy in those movies and got caught by a Batman or a Superman or another oh, you didn't character. Like the little and then synopsis? we know them 
and then we go, oh, they're bad people, and then we get to play around in a world where they become the good guys. Or, because uh, you're right, the problem with the movie, right, is that it's completely unmoored. You have no reason to care about anybody. Nobody's given a redeemable arc. No, there's just nothing happening. There's everything thrown at you, right? When you go back and you watch when we would do the trailer reactions to Suicide Squad, right, and I would start trying to, like, oh, I think it's going to be this and only this. What I kept pitching was a Harley Quinn movie, right? She was the central character. It revolved around her. She was the anchor. You could have done that still here and given everybody the same amount of backstory spots in like it condensed, right? Even Will Smith's condensed. But instead they give you all this about Deadshot and the Batman stuff, which is cool to see Batman, but then they give you all this Harley, and then it's like, also Diablo has fire, and Captain Boomerang's the boomerang guy, and then we're not even going to mention Slipknot until he shows up and then dies. And it's also like, Katana's oh, here. God. Just, Katana's just going to show up too. Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. Like, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's exactly. that's, that's how a it joke, is, dude. Only like, a lot of guys can climb anything. Um, <laughs> and so what? they don't have that, and they ping pong back and forth between trying to make you, randomly trying to make you care about people, and it just doesn't work. Because even at the end, when, all right, cool. Suddenly by the end, it's like, you, hey, homie, you don't even kill, you don't kill women and children. Oh, okay. I guess that would have been helpful a little bit in the beginning to know he had a code yeah, to care more, but like, but, you know, we've already but crossed all the stuff. Also, it doesn't make like, him a good person. No, he's still and then killer, at the end, you know? he's teaching his kid how to, like, his kid's using bullet references, and you're like, this isn't, right, this right. isn't right. funny, you, and it yeah. doesn't make me care more it about it. It sucks because it's a total evidence of like, oh, we have Will Smith. So Will Smith has to be Will relevant. Smith. And it's just like, like that. you can't do that in service of the story. Like You need to have a story first and put the right actors in the right places, not the other way around. See, there's a way There's a way to make this movie, and there's a way to make it these characters somewhat sympathetic, nice. right? And it's, it's uh, what was the animated movie? Was it Assault on Arkham or something like that? Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So that was a perfect example of like, it can be fun to be with these villains for an hour and a half, but you have to have something bigger and badder forcing them into the situation in order to make them somewhat sympathetic. Oh, we had that though. But we I, they, we tried. They tried desperately to do that. No, no, we had Amanda <laughs> Waller was the character that 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 in my opinion needed to be sort of the antagonist of this entire thing. But you also had to, you Remember also had to shot sort of, people. <laughs> For no reason. They they're, were, not, they they're not they weren't cleared. cleared. They yeah. weren't cleared. Why would they not be clear? They're working in a covert black ops with you. They're your staff. Why would you not have cleared them? Just cl- You're all clear. You're all deputized. I don't have to kill you now. And the reason they did that was because they were like, how the fuck are we getting all these people out of here? What they needed to do was have a scene where like, they were all getting killed by the, the, the gooey Monsters, guys. Yeah. And she was the last one. And then the guys break in. But instead, they just walk. They're like, hold on, everyone. Or Wait even, out here in the lobby. We're going to go in and get her. Or even it's have so her boring. be in a safe room where she's like, like she shows the last it, like she's fight, like, yeah, exactly. Like, not a badass, but like only cares about herself. And, and is like, hey, and... I've locked myself in this room, watches her whole crew get killed and just be like, sucks for them. Yeah. Remember when Harley Quinn was in the elevator and then they beat her up? How? 15 floor. How? Because it's hey not. He can climb anything. He's dead. He's his dead. head exploded. Well, but they had his stuff. They had his, uh, stuff. They had his information. Here's this movie is just... Uh, Sirens are on. This own. movie was just an excuse to say, like, let's get excuses. let's get this licensed music and put Good it towards the scene. Music, let's yep. get this Eminem song for this scene. Oh, my God. And let's get this other scene that? for a helicopter scene. And then the Harley Quinn... Do you wear the Without Me outfit? Dude, that's all the f- that, that that's all this movie is, dude. And well, it's like and they're, they're really trying to be they're trying to impress us as much as they can. I don't, and it never none works. Of it hits, See, none I don't think it was none that. of those music like it's yeah. not like Guardians at all. What no. I think happened was they went in this this movie got derailed somewhere in the production process. Oh, and that's admitted and, online, right? And an editor came in and said and they they hired an editor and they were like, save this movie. And the editor was like, Cool, I'm gonna make a bunch of cool motion graphic sequences so we kinda know these characters, otherwise we don't at all. And also, Will Smith being the biggest star of this film, we should probably see him sometime in the first like 20 minutes of it. So let's have a really weird, totally awkward scene where we only introduce our two main characters because Margot Robbie and Will Smith, I, I guess Robbie at the, at the time was one of the biggest actresses in this film. She was kind of no, on all sure the posters. She was, for sure yeah. she was. She's great it's looking. Harley. She looks cool. Was Harley. About Margo, great. I think it was more about Harley. At so they go, okay, the real way we wanted to start with this movie was we start with Amanda Waller and she's pitching the Joint Chiefs of Staffs on this thing, right? And then we're going to we're gonna have this great moment where she talks to everyone and it's cool and you think she's actually like a real good person and then we cut and there's a direct juxtaposition between her on the, in the steakhouse with the Joint Chiefs and and these people who we think are bad guys but are being horribly mistreated in this black site with zero with all their rights being and that's when we see Will Smith. But then someone was like this, but Will Smith's a big star. So why don't we put those two let's scenes up front movie. and then let's have her pitch two people, David Harbour, and then we'll have David Harbour then then they go pitch again. Why are we we'll in meeting the, rooms so much? Why are we so, so much, you know, like and, and then we and then we meet the team. And it's like, no, this is not this is so fucking weird. Also, the dude, and I love him to death. He's a fucking hilariously comedic actor, yeah. but why is he the Alpha. guy 
who is torturing everyone. He's not believable at all. It, it introduces a weird amount of comedy right off the bat that then makes me go, well, I really don't feel like these people are in any danger at all of being abused because this guy's a fucking chucklehead. Like, I don't know. Suicide Squad's the fourth live-action superhero movie to win an Academy Award. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> That's Fucking real. real, man. Others are uh, Batman 1989, The Dark Knight, uh, and Spider-Man 2. I mean, Killer Croc looked great. Spider-Man. No, he, he did didn't. not. When he finally, takes, off, when he finally takes like, off his shirt, like, you are an elderly man well, with a yeah, giant well, head. I don't <laughs> understand I the same vibe. why like, they didn't find someone much larger to play the role. Jacked, yeah. Or just put prosthetics on him. And earn right. that Oscar. Just make him CG or whatever. His head was so every, much bigger than the rest of his time. So much bigger. Talk. I, 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 like, what the fuck are you doing? He's an alligator man, you know? He yeah, I know. Talking. Whatever. Sure, it's I'm still awful. And it's I like, like it's, her. Like, it's uh, so bad that you're like, oh, this is why he has no lines. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, no wonder he's riding the bench most of the time. B-E-T. Like, uh, B-E-T. like none of these lines This did, is the man. third live action version of the Suicide Squad. What? It was previously featured. And I on Arrow and in the CW universe, at least, and I shouldn't speak out of turn on that. I'm sorry. In era when it's introduced, I, I was still watching regularly, and it's done so well there. And Deadshot there is like a complete asshole villain, and then you get why he's it a little bit, and you're never like, oh, I'm super sympathetic for this guy. But what's the other appearance? The other live action one? My dreams. <sighs> Smallville. You no, know, no, hold on. Well, I was gonna get there because I was gonna say I remember in Smallville when uh, Deadshot shows up and shoots through Clark's hand and stuff, but I don't remember the other people is popping up. I don't know. I saw this on the. Yeah, it might have been when I dropped off because remember I took three years off of Smallville when my brain reset. <laughs> yeah, I was I like think... you don't need to watch this anymore. I literally forgot what day it aired. <laughs> yeah, they really they, they needed to go all in on making these guys bad and making you go okay. I'm, it's questionable as to whether or not I. Like you, you needed to be on the ride with these people who are doing bad things, and but and doing them in the name of potentially a good thing. But they They're just bad did guys. Not. It's what they do. Yeah, but oh, They're bad yeah. guys. It's what but we but do. also this movie is is so it's just constantly narrated by people telling you what's going on instead of showing you what's going on. It's just so sad. And then the action's not. It's fun. a lot of plot. Rare, very rare, little story, but rarely. <laughs> I mean, there's yeah, there's just plot. I yeah. The enemies make no sense, and like bullets are it doesn't seem to be killing them sometimes. But then a baseball bat is no problem. Do you have your Blows facts on this or whatever? No. The, all the air stuff that's come out more recently or whatever, no. where, again, this is what I always go back to, and I know I do the hashtag release Snyder Cut, and I make a lot of jokes about it, but I do, again, like I've talked about in every one of these films of, you fucking punched your ticket, WB, let it ride. And David Ayers talked a lot about this, how originally Enchantress was making him, uh, was working with the mother, was possessed by a mother box, and was her machine was going to be a boom tube. Uh, the a faceless what? weirdo. A boom tube. It was, <laughs> the, to being around, he, she was working for Dark Side. Uh, the parademons okay. that fly up in the nightmare yeah. scene were going to be these creatures or whatever, or at least some of them were going to be these creatures. Like she was prepping the world for Dark Side, which again, whether you love it or hate it or whatever the view, no, it, it would have been cool. That would have been an interesting uh, to, again the constant progression. But you see them getting cold feet here on the reaction of Batman v Superman, flipping the fuck out, and that'll also be what totally uh, for sure fucks Justice League. Would have been any better the other way? I don't know, but it would have had. One thing that was Andy like passable, you know your what mask. I mean? Oh, we, can, oh. we know who you are. Andy we know who you are. You're not wearing your helmet. A good point. He's already <laughs> revealed his identity to the world. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and you can see that, right? You can see that somewhere along the lines, this got derailed, and it just became very, very generic. And you can see it just specifically in the design of the bad guys, who are just literally faceless, generic blobs. That's yeah. it. Uh, um, and not only that, but like. I don't know. It, to me, I like the way they look. I don't like what they are. I like, like the way. I like the way they look. People. If it was a this, you're going to encounter this thing once. And that's it. But they literally keep fighting these things over and over and over again. And not only that, but they at no point ever really get overwhelmed by them to the point where you think they're actually going to have to use their superpowers. The first time they get they, they meet them, they just beat the shit out of them. And then Deadshot is just like kill, it kills all of them. And then he's like, that's how I run. And you're like, okay. I, good for you. But also, really but like, I cut and run. But it's one of those things where I'm like, what? Like there, this it oscillates back and forth with the the enemies are too easy to overcome, and then there's then then the big bad enemy is so powerful that like not even Superman could take it down. So what is the point of this team? They're actually not that effective. I don't think they're that much more effective than if Captain Flag just had a, Clint Eastwood's kid and like fifteen other dudes with guns just I mean, come in and clear. Diablo shit out. just should have done everything. Yeah, he was clearly the most powerful. <laughs> yeah, with his fucking CW effects budget. Yeah. Like, God, oh, I mean, his, yeah. When he fought, when they background. let's watch. Let's watch this security video of him nuking the... I'm like, this five looks times. awful. Let's watch it five yeah, times. Yeah, first off, why am I seeing it so much? Secondly, this looks terrible. Why are you showing me this in a major motion picture? You gotta How did you win an Oscar? You gotta assume that's something they added later and didn't have at the at the beginning of Audiences it. aren't connecting with Diablo. How can we show how powerful it is? I will say the one person in this that I was like, I want more of him is, is Boomerang. 
I'm, I'm not I, surprised. I don't know why, but and I I normally am not a huge <laughs> fan of Jack Courtney. <laughs> like I just think like he, he I you know the last movie I really remember seeing him in was the the last Die Hard movie, and that was not his fault. But that movie was a fucking train wreck. But in this one, I'm like, oh, this guy's like clearly the comedy relief. And I thought it kind of worked at moments, and I just I was like, this is this is fun. But I didn't so need his backstory. Moments, I don't need to see him being a killer. I just need. You know, yeah. the Rick Flag was a character. I'm just like, God, this is use- Every- useless. I don't. That character is dumb. This is so generic, man. Totally. This is so pain by numbers. And it's sad because you go, we got Will Smith as Deadshot, uh-huh, and he's uh-huh. supposed to be the leader of the fucking team. Just let him lead. Why did you need the Rick Flag character in this at all? Like yeah. Will Smith could have has the the charisma on screen to carry this whole fucking movie, yeah. and you made him a secondary character to, to fucking what's his name, Joel Kinnaman. Do you? I mean, do you feel that way? My problem is I I don't know if there's a primary character in this movie. That's again where I come back, and I think one of the—I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a litany of problems in why this right. movie sucks, but like I think in general, it is just like, who is it? Harley? Is it, it Rick? Is it Deadshot? Is it Amanda? Like, what do we? Well, who, it should have been. Give it, me this through somebody's eyes and lock it that way. It should have been Deadshot. Go. It should have been Deadshot. And, it, and if they wanted to make him sympathetic, or Harley, I think Harley would have been awesome. They shouldn't have made them that because Deadshot's way better when he's just a fucking stone cold killer and doesn't really have altruistic motivations plus they never really nailed it there's one point where he's like I'm doing this for my daughter but then he puts the suit on and he's like I, like I really it. really I like, like I, I, I like, I like it because I get to kill people in this but then he's got again and I, this is the only time I'll bring it up but he's got the words on his on his thing which I found super distracting the entire movie I finally looked him up it's a bible verse about redemption yeah. so he embroidered a, a redemption verse on his neck but then when he puts the suit on, he goes, God, I love wearing the suit because I, I just killing love people. killing people. <laughs> so he has no redemption in this yeah. whatsoever. And you're like, what the fuck is this movie? To me, like the saddest thing is the the moment where the team gets together. They're like, let's go, it's boys, get high. high moment. It's just so like <laughs> stumbly and <laughs> so flat where you're just like, like, I can't even imagine anybody in the world was excited by that. And like that sucks. I get th- it might not be for me. It might not be for us. But like, I don't think anybody was like. Let's fucking go. Well, it, just, it didn't have that build up to it, you know? It just happened and it was like, oh, I guess they're a team yeah. now. Nothing I was Captain Brothering leaves. Yeah. He's just like, all right, it's all deactivated. You're all free, which you're not. The bombs are still active, but I broke my device, so I can't kill you. And Boomerang's like, peace. And he's gone. And then I'm back in the group when, we're, when you're walking through the street. He got his beer. All right. Like, imagine when they do a Sinister Six movie or something like that, right? Where they will, Marvel will make sure you know every single one of these characters going in and you hate them. And then they somehow make you love them by the end of a Sinister Six movie. That's what they needed to do with this. Yeah. There's literally a part where the Vulture, helicopter. Scorpion, we're all losers. That's why we fight together. Yeah. You know, like Michael no. Keaton is fucking no. Vulture being the head of the Sinister Six. Mm-hmm. Fucking amazing, right? You're like, yeah. oh, and he's a character that's got depth to him. But uh, I say this is a part. About, I don't know, 40 minutes, 50 minutes in this movie where the helicopter they're on crashes for absolutely no reason. And there's zero One consequences the in so it. Many and then they crashes. get out and they're like, we're good. That's that's, it shoots, that's the whole it movie. Shoots so much so many flares. <laughs> Why does the helicopter, so it starts at the top of the building. Right. Then instead of just staying at the top right. and leaving, it well, dives that's down. That's my, later. My, oh, right, I, I'm okay. kinda, this I can be guilty of my mind drifting d- during movies and I'll rewind a lot and rewind. And that's a moment where I thought, did I, did I miss... Something that something, was happening on the ground. Something shoots the helicopter down and we'd never, with a bullet. Yeah. And we don't know what that thing was yeah. Yeah. because we Spears? don't see, maybe, but what we don't really it? ever see what, I don't I don't remember seeing what shoots him down or why it's clear. There was never a hint. Oh, of, no, no. What? It was the it was the non-parody. It was the goo monster men that were running around to do it because then they but ran they over and they got the. Yeah, they, no, well, they do. It makes no sense. Like, it makes yeah. no sense. They are running around. The goo men have guns, and they are shooting <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but, and, 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 but no one ever, rarely anyone ever takes cover. They're just there. They're yeah. just mindless hordes that have guns. And then there's a mention from Amanda Waller, who's like, "Look at all of it. It's happening, Flag. It's a squ- It's a. It's an army, and all she. We have to figure out how she's making them. And because they go from normal citizens to killing machines the next moment, because she's implying with the guns again. It's like, what the fuck is happening? What is this movie, movie about? about time? What is going on, man? Okay, Greg. Let's get to the plot. We got it's not God, even worth God, it. It's God, God, God. Okay. We got God. God. <laughs> Go ahead, Gary. This movie fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you're, stri- if you're like, oh, man, I can't wait to see how long this one goes. It's going to be short. Because literally, <laughs> well, guess what? A bunch of people get, clowns get introduced. We fucking walk through midnight, or, uh, Midway City forever and ever. And then we get, a helicopter gets shot down. We walk somewhere, get shot down again. Different helicopter, walk again, shot down. Then we fucking fight at some girl and her brother with our heart. 
Fuck this movie. It sucks. Yeah. Ben so Affleck came as cool though. I, I was uh, saying, I think, uh, yeah, it must have been last week when we were doing Batman v Superman that like watching these movies week after week like makes me enjoy them a bit more because it's like, all right, like seeing the, the the through line stuff, even if it's not interesting, just seeing yeah, things referenced how it relates again. To something later. It's like, okay, that's cool. And like watching even this one so close, it's like when the Flash shows up or Batman, it's like there are moments that I'm like, that's really cool. It's just none of the rest of it is. And it sucks because when you see Flash show up, it is a moment of like, that's kind of right. Yeah, but I like, it, like I feel like those mem- moments aren't developed. The Flash shows up and then it cuts, and it's like, okay, I guess the Flash caught him. But but because right. of how they did, though, I was fine with it. Like that's the type of cameo that works where you're building a universe that I'm like, I'm I'm down for this because we've seen him before. Granted, didn't see enough of him, but at least we saw in the the post credit scene of like, oh, it's the fast guy. He is one of the people that they're they're building towards, and I feel like that's the type of building to Justice League. That's great. Should there have been a Flash movie before? Absolutely fine. Whatever. I like seeing that. Having Batman is cool, but I feel like it's also a thing where you can't. Batman's distracting. I feel so bad for Ben Affleck, man. Like, and I know there's other <laughs> actors to feel bad for. Poor Ben Affleck. I mean, uh, Gal Gadot as well. I'm talking about like these big name actors that deserve to be in good superhero movies. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I love his portrayal as Batman. I think he's. Yeah, I, I thought he was. I, a I know a lot of people man, don't yeah. like him as an actor. Gal I think he's a, a, I think he's a pretty good actor. Movies. I like but him as I Batman. Just, I'm, I'm just bums me out that like. This kind of mo- will most likely sour their taste on wanting to be in a good superhero movie down the line because maybe they don't trust it, they feel wronged by it. There's a moment that uh, isn't really superhero related, but it's uh, an editing decision. And it's such a small thing, but I think it shows how this movie really has no direction and how the shots that they're showing you on screen really don't have a whole lot of purpose. It's when they first encounter all the goo men on the street, and they're just like, what do we do? Do we shoot him? Do we? And they finally engage in this fight, and they all start shooting him. And then there's, for about two seconds, it's a really meaningless, really short shot, and I don't know why I harp on it so much, but it's a slow-mo shot of bullets falling yeah, and hitting the ground. The yeah. ground. And I just think, what the fuck was the purpose of that shot? Look at how many shots like, they're, 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 they're shooting so much. Because that was the the um, what? army dudes, army dudes shooting at them, and it was like, oh, I guess they're useless. It has to be that like the Suicide Squad is going to come in and really show what their value is. But it's like, I just see that doesn't. shot, and I feel like they like, hey, we got the slow mo shot of bullets. Should we just put it right here? Like, th- where should we put it? There was no thought yeah. put to really a lot of what the the, the structure of this movie should be. It's just, yeah. it's such a bummer, man. Really quick, just to touch on the like uh, actors that, like Ben Affleck, where it's like he's in this, he's gonna be done with with like he already opted out of more so Batman funny. movies. I, like, let's remember, like there is hope. Like Deadpool, like we got Ryan Reynolds Deadpool You're right. was crap, You're and right. then he came back and like Gret, he like it seemed like he championed that move a lot. I just gotta assume that Ben Affleck's looking at MCU and being like, everybody loves those movies. I'm pretty sure Ben Affleck's done with being Batman. Yeah, no, I don't don't think he's he's coming back. Oh yeah, he's probably done. Yeah, and but but and that's sad too because and I'd say what you will about it, but I loved the cameos that he when he pops in. I love seeing Batman just randomly as this. Side, this sort of flashback side character on the top of a fucking badass bright purple Joker movie. I love that. I love when the the car goes over and he pops in the the, the breather and just so dives cool. in. It was like such a Batman moment. But yeah. not only that, but even then getting down there and having Harley pop up try to stab him. That was awesome. He punches her. But before that, we get the flashback <laughs> of uh, Deadshot with his daughter, yeah. and you see Batman. I don't want to do this in front of Fly your in with his ca- with his cowl. Yeah. The cape, right? Yeah. And it's the first time I've seen that happen since the, I guess, the Joel Schumacher Batmans, right? Yeah. Where he actually uses the cape for what it's supposed to be done, which is like the glide things. And it's that little touch where I'm like, didn't Bale like Dark jump Knight off a bridge? In China. <laughs> no, uh, Bale fell off a building and landed on a car. And as we've established with the Fast and Furious universe, you if you land on a yeah. car, yeah. it's the You're equivalent sorry. to a mattress. So, <laughs> he never ever really used the cape to. I, well, I guess he, no, he did use the, the glide when he uh, goes to yeah when That's he goes true. to China. That's he true. like really uses it. But like, but splitting hairs doesn't matter. We are splitting hairs. What I'm saying is that to me felt like a, okay, that's a grounded version of this. This the cameos in this were like, oh, this is what Batman could should be. Like this is how he should move. He should use the cape like as a as an extension of his ability to like get from A to B and 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 float down to places and surprise people. And he did. That was really cool. Um, it's just. It does suck that that I was like, oh, that was rad, and then the rest of the movie, and then I see another one, I'm like, that was cool, and the rest of the movie, I'm like, oh man, I really want a Batman movie. And that's, that's I really what, want a Batman what I'm movie. It's distracting. It's like when you have Batman. Batman is just it's too overpowering. It's just like it's like Wolverine with X Men. It's like the moment you introduce Wolverine, it's just like ah oh, man, there goes any development for the rest well, of them. And, and I feel like compare that to Guardians. Thanos. Thanos is the cameo. Thanos is the thing that they're building where it's like oh. 
we're going to give you more info on this thing that's going to pay off later. And it's just like they totally could have done that for something that's not Batman in this one. Well, the, the, the big problem is Or just right. go all in and have it be Batman. Right. You, the, the big problem is always like how do you tell these stories and have Batman still exist in that universe and not have Batman come save the day? We're like, why the fuck wasn't Batman there at the end? There's a giant portal to another dimension happening in another city, and Batman is not on his way? What the fuck's going on, right? He, he knows Amanda Waller. We see that he's tied in. We see that he's got this weird, crazy network of, like, I guess he, they know he's Batman. She knows he's Batman, and he's like, threatens her at the end in the cameo. He's like, fucking watch out, because my, my friends are more powerful than your friends. Like, whoa, we're having a dick measuring contest right now? Where the fuck were you and Enchantress and Cara Delevingne was like, and her brother were fucking tearing apart Metro City? Yeah, it looks exactly (laughs) like, you know, the Kryptonian invasion, right? Like, and that's why I think this movie is another huge problem of just, it should have been such an off-the-books centralized smaller plot yes not the end of the world something's going on that maybe they're trying to bring about the end of the world in their the one building right but like to have another and and i I use it loosely but another metropolis incident but this time in uh midway city where yeah like the city's been completely evacuated there's this beam of trash and all the shit around there it's like it just smacks of us yeah where is wonder woman where is batman why wouldn't they have been there have a much smaller have a much smaller plot like why they got to break into arkham to get the joker out or something totally and that's you don't need fucking Superman and for that. You already brought it up. The you animated series did such a great job. Or the animated movie, that movie did such a great, great part of it. Yeah. And, that, and they had Batman in that, right? And there was yeah. a re- that would have been a great thing to do here. I want to watch one of these cartoons. <laughs> okay. You're in Look most at this of them. Shit. Like, <laughs> I think that we have like, them on the voodoo. I, I haven't seen a good quality cartoon in a long time. You re- Batman Under the Red Hood. Go there. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I really liked I, I, I got the box set. Like, the last one I've seen is probably Mask of the Phantasm. Oh, wow. That was great, ago. too. Dan yeah, Delaney. Like, uh, I think I'm saying it wrong, but it is Assault on Arkham, right? Is that what it was? I think so. Bear, yeah, can we get a check? Can you that? That yeah. one, I, I remember it is thinking, Assault oh. on Arkham, and that's like in the Arkham universe. Is yeah, it? I remember thinking, this is a really cool concept for why they need these characters to come together and do this one job. Basically, they're coming together to do jobs that you can't hire Wonder Woman to do because she'd go, no, that's totally immoral, totally illegal, and totally not not a good use of my skills. Yeah, Batman Assault on Arkham. Yeah, that was cool. Maybe one day we'll do, uh, you know, oh. pruned condition. I was going to say, DC. I oh, said I have the first 10 thing. years of DC animated yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Greg Miller, though, I, I have a question for you. Sure. So if we're not going to do the plot. I, no, I'll do the plot. Right? I was just saying if we want to shorten it. But I, I feel like I do have a question of you being the DCEU. Fanboy, the fanboy yeah. expert. I would say Chill. probably more than anyone else Chill. in the goddamn world. Yeah, where is this movie timeline wise? Like where where does this fit? It's right after with, the death of Superman, with, yeah. with, with what we've known, and then with Birds of Prey as well. Like, do you know where that falls? Birds in? of Prey? No, I've stayed out of because okay. I want to I want to watch that and have fun. We since we aren't doing the t- trailers, tearing it apart or whatever, like trying to figure every little bit out of it. I haven't done anything with it, so I'm not sure the setting. Very so quick, uh, when Flash shows up, is he in like his? That's the own first time we've seen sp- Flash in his outfit. Is that his own suit, or is that yes. the suit that? Okay, okay. Because remember when Bruce meets him in just well, no future spoilers. My apologies. Okay, yeah. Right. But that's it, he's not explained. But he's already got a suit. But that was, that's what I was confused by because it looked like a, a future suit, and I was like, wait, if this is happening before the return of Superman, how does he have that suit yet? But I guess that's just me being dumb. So Superman dies, no. right at no. the no. end of Supes. Batman, Batman v Superman, Batman Dead of Justice. Dawn yes. of Justice. So then, then after this, all this stuff starts happening. So this Joker is implied to be the same Joker. That Batman's been yes, dealing with. That that's been again publicly stated since then. Because again, the of course the rumor, which would have been awesome and would have been so cool. again, and I use that loosely because we already. If you don't like anything that's happened so far in the DCEU, you probably wouldn't like anything that's going to happen. But the rumor for the longest time was that the this Joker that we see in Suicide Squad was Jason Todd, which of course is the second Robin who was infamously killed by the Joker. And so the idea here was similar spoilers for Batman Arkham Knight. In the same way that the Arkham Knight was Jason Todd, and it was revealed there that you'd have something similar here, where the Joker had killed Jason Todd, right? Left the suit we saw in Batman v Superman that said, "Haha, jokes on you, Batman." Batman thought he was dead. It would have been hopefully revealed that no, or maybe he already. Batman did already know that at this point that Jason Todd had him been killed. He had been kidnapped by the Joker. He had been brainwashed. Batman had probably killed the Joker, as we've seen how Batman's gone over the line, and in his place, Jason Todd rose up. Because there's all the things with the tattoos and like obviously. J for Jason, J for Joker. But then there's stuff on his arm about Robins and all these jazz. So the, the hope was that we are going to get this movie or the Batman movie, probably the Batman movie, and it would have been a thing of that's the reveal, that's the turn. That way everybody's happy that, guess what? You all hate this Joker, but it's because he's some weird Joker that's been Imitation, tortured and yeah. brained, and then at the end of hopefully that Batman movie, the real Joker isn't dead. There's some kind of revelation but, there. So they've confirmed that it... 
yeah, and I, case, yeah, the, I, I think I again it was a David Ayer tweet uh, that I'm going off of, and again this has been years and years, yeah. and it's also that DC EU is nuked beyond belief, so it doesn't even matter. But I'm pretty sure if you want to Google for me, Barrett, uh, Jason Todd, Joker, David Ayer, you can so find this, but me. so something that I just don't really quite get timeline wise is Batman, yeah. Ben Affleck's Batman. Mm-hmm. We see him a lot in this movie and it's flashback stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So the flashback though, like has Mar- Margot Robbie has been Harley Quinn for how like. Batman has been Batman for 20 years. We yeah. get from Batman v Superman, right? Right. And he's been going, but then he hasn't been doing Batman stuff, right? He has been. No, he never stopped? Yeah. No, he, never he, stopped. Caught, he caught okay. all of them. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I know that stuff. But like in Batman v Superman, it, it kind of like when he came back and he was like, I kill people and shit. Like, he's it wasn't changed. him coming back. It was that he's changed At over the years. And died. especially okay. since he's the rise of Kryptonians, he's, he's getting, gotten even worse. Okay. Yeah. Like the the code that he adheres to has just kind of fallen by the wayside over the last twenty years. Him smashing faces and fucking taking names. Also, some, something that was called out to me after the fact. Actually, I think it was a uh, Chris Anka, of course, comic book uh, artist extraordinaire and kind of funny best friend for years and years. He texted me. Uh, he's like, "Hey, I, you know, in Batman v Superman, you guys were like, why would why if you had the Bat brand, would they kill you in prison? That doesn't make any sense." He was like, "Well, remember, I think that's." Lex is paying guys on the inside to do that thing. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, we missed that. We missed that plot point. Mm, no, but they, then it they missed that plot point. Well, no, I know, no, no, no. <laughs> there is that we one scene that where the, like, how about, I, that's a lot of text. How about you just summarize? <laughs> Let's see. However, if you're a fan of this theory, I've got a bad news. And speaking with some, uh, whatever. He was in an interview. He just pretty much said it. Yeah, it's I was not right. The case. Yeah, 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 whatever yeah. good ideas y'all think there are, they're not there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever we deep, didn't think, whatever deep connected universe yeah. you think we're building, we're not. And probably it's Warner Brothers at this point. And, uh, and I quote from Dave Vader. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because that's what I would have loved to see. And I really, and I'm not at all putting this out there because obviously we already know how the Batman from Matt Reeves, or is it Matt Reeves still, yeah. right? That's it going? Is its own thing, yada, yada. But it would have been awesome to have this keep going this way. Here's what happened. You know what I mean? There's all this crazy shit where Batman broke, yada, yada, yada. And then inside of that, get a prequel, whatever, with a younger Batman that is, could be Robert Pattinson, whoever the fuck you want it to be. But it is these mistakes and learnings and things and what happened and changed and the death of Robin and how that all, like, that all could have been so cool. Totally. Yeah, I mean, there's so many but great again, crazy stories. as we always talk about, DC looked at the clock and like, oh my god, we're seven years late on this. Uh, 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 put it all in, put it all in. We have a giant money machine over there. Uh, Harley Quinn, super it popular with the comic nerds. She'll probably be popular with the people. Put her in there, get her own movies, get her a cartoon, do all this different stuff. And that's the thing too. I've said this on Twitter. I'd like to, if you don't mind, do a real call out. If you're not watching, if you don't subscribe to DC Universe, I totally get it. Right? It's this weird app that isn't available on PlayStation or Switch yet, only on Xbox. All this different stuff. Um, you can get it on your computers, obviously, and your iPads and all that. Shit. I love that that's your like touchstone is what consoles it's on. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> come on, like they literally when you go to their site, they're like, we know you want to play a st- PlayStation Four app and a Samsung TV app. We're working on it, and it's been that way forever. Like, are you in or out on this app? Because I don't know. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Funny amp hitting. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Andy. <laughs> uh, but the point I'm driving at is that that Harley Quinn cartoon on there is phenomenal. It is so good. It is so refreshing. It is an adult take on it of like, it's not, it reminds me like the adult side of Teen Titans Go, where it's like, ah, this is what's happening, but it's not about the capers or the super villainy, right? It's like her whole thing. And it's just phenomenally funny and really, really well done. Rahul Kohli's in it. Yeah. He, needs, he deserves a bigger part, of course, but. Mm-hmm. So do you gentlemen. want a plot plot or what do you want? Uh, before we do that, I want to let you know that this episode is brought to you by MeUndies. Mm-hmm. Love is in the air. Someone grab the Lysol. <laughs> Just kidding. Even though this is a made-up <laughs> holiday, it's still really cute. We're talking about Valentine's Day here. It's also the perfect time to show that special someone how much you care and say those three words everyone wants to hear. Match my undies. Uh, me undies has the most adorable Valentine's Day prints to get all the lovey doveyness that you need this year. Don't worry if you don't have a boo. Me undies also makes buddy bands so you can match with your pet, which is honestly more important than people. <laughs> there you go. When, when's Portillo going to get some... Buddy bands. Whenever you get them to send them to him. Or maybe that's your Valentine's Day gift to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, it's very soon. That'd be very soon. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Jen already get the matching undies. Isn't that good enough for you, Tim? Why is nothing good enough for you, Tim? Because Portillo needs to match with you as he well. Does. They give you the options, the Andy, man. be on my side. That's right. You wearing them right now, Kev? I got the pineapple ones. You got them I'm wearing my Valentine's Day ones, but I'm in a whole bunch I of I tell you, but I got... 
Yeah. You got layers going on, on right now. No one can see I'm your just wearing gray. I'm, I'm just a fan of that though. as well. But you know, me and you've been talking about it forever. They have so many different prints. But yes, the, for Valentine's Day, they do the little matchy matchy ones you can get with your partner or your dog. Uh, MeUndies has a great offer for you guys out there. Any first time purchasers, you can get 15% off and free shipping. This is a no brainer, especially because they have 100% satisfaction guarantee. To get 50% off your first pair of free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash morning. That's MeUndies.com slash morning. Next up, we have some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Manscaped, the Lawnmower 3.0 is now available. This is breaking news. The important PSA is brought to you by Manscaped.com. This is your, Nick, pubic yeah. service announcement. <laughs> These, give, them the Nobel, <laughs> give them the Nobel Prize. The Manscaped the engineering Peace team prize. spent it's 18 great. months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Barrett Courtney has it. He's excited to give this thing a run. It has yeah. LEDs. So you can, wow. Yeah, dude. You can do it in the dark. Uh, so here's the thing we've been talking about Manscaped for a while now. I've been looking good. I've been looking scaped, Greg. Yeah, I'm scaped you, man. Oh, I'm scaped like a goat, man. Yep. <laughs> That's a scapegoat joke. Yeah, see, that was a plan word. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick free. Oh, God. Thanks to Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how that sounded. I'm sorry. Uh, here's the deal, man. They've upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor. Hell yeah. With quiet stroke technology. These guys, they know what they're doing, man. They know guys <laughs> like talking about their balls. They like playing with their balls. They like cleaning their balls. Uh, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MORNING at Manscaped.com. Yeah, thanks, Andy. By the way, drop it. It is <laughs> Robin outfit. Just peek it in there. Uh, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code MORNING at Manscaped.com. As always, your balls will thank you. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code MORNING at manscaped.com. Finally, shout out to HelloFresh. You can get mouth-watering seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. You can break out of your dinner rut with HelloFresh's 22-plus seasonal chef-curated recipes each week. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick recipe options. There you go. I feel like Gia's been using those ones because she gets it done real quick. I'm impressed. Real Always time. impressed. Always impressed. I'm down there playing video games and stuff, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I got, I got at least 30 minutes. Someone's got to be 20 adult. minutes in, yeah. I'm like, mm. No. Uh, HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less food waste. You can add extra meals or lunches to your weekly order or throw in yummy sides and desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough. Oh. Yeah. Kev was playing with some cookie dough last night. I made cookies. That's true. It was, your it house. was, it was great. Uh, you that guys. Where they were from? Yeah. Wow. They yeah. were really, really good. Yeah. Uh, you guys. Let's see. Here we go. Where is this? Uh, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash morning10 and use code morning10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. You can go to HelloFresh.com slash Morning10 and use Morning10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. <laughs> God damn it, Just, Andy. Every time I try to get a good picture, you go Come back to it, man. Come back to it. We'll do a fake ad read right here. We'll do I need, a fake I need ad read. it for the gram. But Andy, you have to look kind of off to the side like you do sometimes. <laughs> other way, other way. Just look there. Right. That's good. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Audio listeners were making Instagram content for Nick, if you didn't know. Sorry. For Nick. <laughs> I'm probably never going to post that. Oh, you got to love it. Greg, I, I do want the plot, you know? <sighs> we're only 43 minutes in. This God. is DCU in review. Give the people what they fucking If want. we don't go five, five hours. hours on this, <laughs> come on. you fucking nice. Even if it's a choo-choo through, you know you what I mean? start, and we got to learn about Deadshot. Mm. Yeah, we So do. we're with him, all right? He's, he's the main character of this film, maybe. Is he? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, Probably he's not. an assassin. That's cool. So he's setting up all sorts of things on the road, and he's putting up with, like, refractors and things mm -hmm. like that or whatever. A little metal plate. Yeah, a metal plate. I don't plate. think we get him that. I don't think that's him yet. Where I think we, we just start? start with him punching a bag, and then they come in and they beat his oh, ass. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Then, he's already in captivity. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, we yeah. go over to Harley Quinn because she's doing a Cirque du Soleil thing that we saw in the trailer. No, we definitely get some of his backstory when he gets introduced with the punch bag shit. When he shoots that guy. 
right? I don't think that's or, the later. I just remember the punching bag. It's a mess. It's I like think that. what happens is okay. they do that, and then Amanda Waller goes and starts talking about them again. Because I just no, because we like, definitely we get we... Deadshot. We definitely yeah, get Harley. Dead. We definitely then get to Amanda Waller. So Deadshot finally goes... being like Superman's dead, and like we need to worry about the next Superman. So what's amazing is he. Let's just talk about that scene for a second. Where he puts Which one? The, he puts the reflector up, and he's like, "I don't see this money in my account yet." And the guy's like, "You got to do the job." And he's like, "I'm not gonna." You got thirty seconds. This guy's gonna sing like a songbird. He's gonna squeal like a pig, and you got better do it and double it because you're an asshole. And the guy goes, "Okay, cool," and then he goes. Was cool and he shoots the cool thing and he hits the guy in the back of the head i'm like that's rad and then he takes a fucking halloween spirit mask out and puts for it no on reason, yeah, for yeah, no yeah. reason so he can scale down the side of the building and look like deadshot and then he does it later in the movie where he's like i'm gonna put that on and harley calls him a pussy right or whatever. yeah she's like what the fuck you know she's harley like, quinn said pussy for the fourth time yeah, yeah. She, it's funny <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, you're right. I'm sorry. This I'm Will Smith. I, I couldn't wear the mask the whole time because I'm Will Smith. Right. Yeah. And also the mask looks horribly Horrible. cheap. Horrible. Horribly cheap. What is it, looks like your, it looks like your your Batman mask. It does. It looks like, yeah. it looks like, yeah. Now, um, the, the refractor, refract, re, uh, you know. No, you refractor thing was cool. That was a cool concept. Yeah. It was a cool concept, especially because at first I thought it was some sort of radar thing yeah. or like a... Uh, a, a microphone or a camera or something like that, and to see it being used, uh, like immediately off the bat, I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, I hope this movie stays as cool and creative. Stays as this. neat. It was interesting because, like, when he put it on, there was like a CG thing that he looked at where it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it well, looks the, like it was the, a camera of some angles. sort. Yeah. No, no, no. But like, he saw a, like a thing when yeah. like the cars come in and it and showed, showed him signatures. Yeah, and stuff. like yeah. angles of. It was almost as good as cool as cool as fucking Boomer Kowanger's uh, uh, goddamn hidden camera on a, his drone boomerang. What the oh, fuck yeah. was that? that was and the, it, it, it went in like a normal boomerang, the and then they have the phone, and he's just like, so uh, uh, uh. <laughs> how is it moving that slow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, we get we get a scene of the two of them. We we, we get introduced to, to Deadpool, and then we get introduced to Harley Quinn. And then she's being abused in this, and he's being abused in this. And you're kind of like, okay, but she's weird, and she's in a cage all of her own. And then we get the guy, I forget what he's from, but he's been in a bunch of comedies, and he's really uh, funny. Neighbors, he's, yeah. He's really right. funny in that. Yeah, he plays the couple. Yeah, he's the brother. The brother. You're all right, of his I'm, lines you're right. I'm sorry, there, this doesn't happen. I wanted to see if I was wrong, and I was wrong. It is just them fucking totally, punching because I remember this, this, this is just like dumb Fuck ass way to introduce movie. these characters. <laughs> it doesn't even deserve a plot recap. That's yeah. my problem. Then we go. Then we go to Amanda. At least you hate Batman v Superman, I understand, ladies and gentlemen. At least there was a fucking vision, all right? Maybe it was bloated. Maybe it didn't make any sense. Maybe whatever the fuck you want to say. This is just things that happen. It's a collection of things that are happening to people you don't give a shit about. So then Amanda Waller comes in like a boss, and like she's got people around her, and they pull up, and she's got, and then there's like a slow mo shot of her where you're sort of hearing narration. And she which sees is weird. the guy selling the Superman shirts. Yeah, and she's him like, like we him. were scared when he came in, and now we're even more scared now that he's gone. And then I'm going to go talk to David Harbour, who's the guy from Str- fucking Stranger Things. Mm. And you're like, oh, that's the guy from Stranger Things yeah. before he was super famous from Stranger Things. What's well, his name in this movie? David Harbour. No, what's his name in the movie? Who the hell knows? Exactly, yeah. right? Because, again, King. these are suits that are important but to the government. But he's so okay. important that she has to pitch him on this long-winded pitch. And he goes, I don't think this is going to work. This is a terrible idea. These guys are bad guys. And she goes, no, 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 no. Let me just tell you who these guys and this are. And this, <laughs> this is where she, we get and into this, this is where we get the dead I've got the dead shot. Plates. He's this the best. Best assassin on the planet. Shit's popping up on screen for it, of course. Then, yeah, we. This is also funny. How did things. you get him? I, I didn't get him. He got picked up in Gotham City. I didn't get him. And it's the Batman flashback of him and his daughter walking through the right. street, and then Batman swoops in, and then her, he, he, she already knows he's a bad person and kills people. And then when she's about to see it, this girl, no, weak-willed, you know what I mean? No conviction. Much like the suits at WB, right? She gets in between her dad and Batman. No conviction. Right? She does have conviction. She is Vi- is the Vi- wrong way. She just told her dad she doesn't care that he's a shitty guy. She likes the it's fucking Batman. doll. She's taking the blood money. You know what That's I mean? True, yeah. She understands all her toys are funded by this. All right, I guess you're right. Now a fucking kids. a gargoyle comes out of the sky to take your dad down. You're gonna get in the way here. Yeah. Make up your fucking mind, little girl. Also, is, Return uh, your is toys. Viola Davis gonna be in the MCU? I think she Probably is. she's a fantastic actress. I'm uh, sure another that another oh, actor. MC, I feel bad me. for. I feel bad for her. Oh, she's like, awesome. Get get her out of here, man. <laughs> like I'm glad. Uh, well, she's in the, the James Gunn one, right? The, the Suicide Squad that's coming up. Uh, oh, they put is a, she? can you bring up that image for me, uh, Barrett, of like oh, the, all the, the poster names. and all the names? I, yeah, I, I, James I can't keep it straight. See that silly tweet? Somebody tweeted like, "Man, tweet. I hope a lot of people don't die in Suicide Squad." And <laughs> James Gunn just retweeted with like the face of like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> like we're gonna kill a lot of people." In yeah, this yeah we'll see about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll see uh, so yeah, this is the continued rundown Wait, of real, all the real clowns. Quick. Yeah. Uh, did like that? Like Deadshot, super accurate with a gun. Yeah. 
Batman like four feet away from him. But, like Batman could have died then, right? Yeah. Shot well, when he has his little dream sequence Just with the Enchantress later. Out. Enchantress yeah, later. He kills him. He wants Boom, right through but the But it just seems like not a Batman move to be like, oh, here I am in front of you with well, like you having a loaded his, gun. I mean, to an ex- I mean, to some extent, I think he's playing on the fact oh, that I guess as we're supposed to know. He's a good guy, right? He has morals. That he, I don't want to do this in front of your daughter. I know you're doing this all for your daughter. So here you go. This is You want to show this to kids? N- no future spoilers because we don't know anything's going on. But the, the Suicide Squad, Viola Davis still in it. Yeah, Margot Robbie still in it. Uh, of course, they have Michael Rooker. What is this? Oh, I got it. This thing's itching me like crazy. It's not even worth the suit anymore? Nope. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, a real, that's the real indictment of this movie, right? Jai Courtney back, great. Again, That's again, part of this movie. Having people in here that actually like ha- will have somebody who can like because uh, the other John day John Cena. The other day, uh, James Gunn answered a tweet or Instagram from somebody that was like, "Is DC or Warner Brothers whoever like busting your balls about this movie?" He's like, "No, they've been great to work with. They haven't said anything." And I'm sure, of course, when you're James Gunn and you come Jeez. into a, a fucking universe on fire, they're like, "Whatever you want, sir. Whatever you want. Please Whatever you want. Save do you want to do seven <laughs> movies? We swear we won't throw a bitch <laughs> so fit two and a half we'll in. We'll try and to ruin get you Star Wars also. Ruin fucking everything. Is this uh, is it, is this new one a <laughs> reboot? Nobody knows. The, what they say about this one is like it's not a direct sequel. It's just like Birds of Prey. It's not a direct sequel. It's its thing. But it's the same people. Like, yeah, it's it's a thing. Honestly, I don't care. And I mean that in a good way. Barry, I'm just give me like, a Google make, search on what the most happen. recent word is on that. It's going to be relevant, but it's also just like let this just be what it is. And I, like, I, I truly think that with where they're going with this, looking at that cast, knowing James Gunn's a part of this, I think that they can fix it. I think that they can make a, a project that is fantastic and even has elements from this, but... This isn't going to make them worse because of it. I think that he can he can make it work somehow. Me so, too. So we're introduced. Oh, he's James Gunn. I love him. We're yeah. introduced to the menagerie of yeah, characters. Here we go. Now we got this, Diablo. Right? Everybody, I love it. we got to show Diablo. He has fire. We got we, we show got we show the he's scene that amazing CGI <laughs> scene that someone did on the After Effects over the weekend. We got we called up Cameron Kennedy. We're like we we fucked up. We forgot. To make a fire scene where he kills everyone in the ark, you have so quick? two hours. You have two hours through this. Cameron Kennedy's like, I can get it done, and then he puts it's it. Like, it will like, not look good. But I can do it. For and then Cameron you. Kennedy submits it. and They're like, This is way too good. Way just gonna make everything else look there bad. Go, just go. dumb it down a little bit, please. Uh, we meet him. We meet Captain Fucking Boomerang, right? Who is robbing a bank and then just decides for no reason to kill his partner because I don't share, mate. Uh, show a shrimp on the bob, eh? Uh, <laughs> which again. Great Best accent. part of this movie, Jai Courtney. Uh, we meet, <laughs> and then we meet Doctor Harley Quinzel. Is that what her name? Harleen, Harleen Quinzel. Quinzel. And th- it's so funny because you, you're in these scenes for so long. You're like, wait, oh, there's a whole other movie happening. Yeah, we're we're, we're with the Joker. She loves him. He's but sexy, kind of sexy, over. dangerous. From yeah, Amanda Waller the here, whole Bert? time, we have that voiceover of like her narrating this shit, where it's like, all right. Um, and, and then these people are in love. And then David, after so we've met all these characters. They're all at this black side. We'd be Killer Croc, and, queen and queen. Killer Croc is supposed to be scary, Wait, but he's on, not. Me, he's I want to leave dumb. it up there so we can read it. So the Suicide Squad. What do you want me to read? Oh, it was the same. Even then, reports were were that Suicide Squad uh, film, the Suicide Squad film, Gun would handle wouldn't be considered a direct sequel, but a new take on the franchise. That's good news for those who enjoy Gun's lighthearted, music-filled Guardians universe. It just starts with fucking. But they're all back. The Fleetwood Mac. Everything's so, Fleetwood Mac. What a weird thing, man. Mm. It's gonna like, be fun. <laughs> it will you, you be. No. To, I, at no imagine. point are we gonna start James Gunn's Suicide Squad and me be like, "Well, where's uh, Captain Boomerang's fucking pink unicorn?" Like, I think this. I think it'll be there. I think it's gonna be there. A, don't worry, it'll be there because that's a great joke. And how fucking dare you? <laughs> and B, you have to remember, Nicole probably like all that. of these actors were signed to like five movie contracts. So not having Jai Courtney back, you're just like, oh, we have to, we paid him already. Might as well put him in a no, fucking I, movie. No, again, I don't. The thing about it is, I don't, you know, I don't know any of these people from Adam, obviously, except James Gunn. But like for the actors, I know they're all talented actors. I don't blame you know, them when I look at this movie of like, well, no, fucking no. Killer Croc totally decided to talk like that. <laughs> like that's. How they, the director and writer and everything they gave him to work with. That's how that's how we got to this point. That's why I, I hold out hope for Birds of Prey, which I'm again I'm like, all right, cool, let's see what's up. I think there's points where I'm like, you know, this Harley's fun. That part was fun. This was okay. So she goes through the whole spiel, and we meet all these people, and it's a good 75 minutes into the movie right now, <laughs> where we because because we have to have some level of backstory but, for these characters for but, anyone to give a hold shit, about, on. except for Slipknot. How are, it's no back. How are, None go- whatsoever. how are we going to control these people, Nick? Oh, it's very easy, guys. We have um, this guy named Captain Flag. Is that Rick Flag? Doing? Rick Flag. <laughs> Everybody's and Captain. Captain. <laughs> and by the way, this guy, Captain Miles Davis. <laughs> we've got we've got the best special ops agent that the United States government has ever made. This guy's a fucking badass, and he's got a bunch of badass friends. And you would think 
these guys are these guys super. In. Yeah, I just send these guys in. They're it. actually getting paid for this. They're pretty good guys. He kept saying that. Yeah, so many times. They got fucking, just send us. They got Mister Nowhere's guy from Fast and Furious. He's in it. He's like little, little nobody, in it, which I totally forgot about it. Little nobody. Well, um, it's because it's such a it's such a touching and harrowing moment when he sacrifices himself. And they all mourn him at yeah. the end. But also the re- but but by <laughs> he the way, literally blows himself up and nobody gives a fuck. Nobody says anything. <laughs> but, uh, but but by the way, uh, Captain Flag, Captain Rick Flag's uh, uh, loyalty is not the only thing that's holding him mm-hmm. here, right? Mm-hmm. He's in it for that ass. You know what I'm talking about? He's got Kara Delavine, and she's this character that. Man, she's an archaeologist, and I'd like to see that movie of her being an archaeologist. <laughs> she, she went to the wrong cave. Character. Character. <laughs> she went in the wrong. She cave. went into the wrong cave, and she came out the enchantress. But she's only the enchantress some of the time. When the she other says time, the words the enchantress. She and Robocop Enchant- are enchantress. fucking, and they are fucking a lot. And it's the only woman he's ever loved. And so Amanda Waller knew somehow oh, that if she so sent, stupid. if she sent him in there, oh, you too, they would fall you in love. You put two beautiful. Heterosexuals together in that kind of ecosystem with fuck. the enchantress floating around, man. That's like fucking that's love a built in number nine, right there, bro. Like, the, the Two p- for the price of one. The writing there is supposed to come off as like you guys are going to be impressed by this by right. Viola Davis's character knowing that that one line where she's fuck. like, where she's like, he uh, he's controlled by the enchantress and he's con- uh, and now he's controlled by me. Or whatever. I like, control yeah. him and he controls me. So stupid, right. but they want like that. And we have her heart. You know that they're writing and thinking. We like, literally oh, have so. her heart, <laughs> right? The reason so, she because we have this little briefcase. What? Yeah, but that no, that's not. Wait, that's not in this scene. Though. With a ball that's not in this She can like fucking. She can like when teleport. You, stuff. When you open the case, why she could teleport over there and grab her own heart. No, no, no it beeps. When she gets close to it, who cares? <laughs> who fucking cares? So, but that's before that. You guys, you guys are get, you're skipping up a lamp and hit Miles Davis in you're the head. You're skipping so far ahead because Wait, really we're in the scene where she's pitching. Ah! We're in the scene where she's, ah, she's pitching the very, very important people on this project, and it's David Harper. And you're like, oh, David Harper is the guy that's going to decide whether or not this team goes forward. No. And he goes, great. Now we have to go pitch it to a whole other room of people we who are very off, way more important. We got Jonah than we Jameson have. over here. Let's go talk to him. We have the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the 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 admirals, the from the generals, all these people. They're the ones that are going to say yes. Let's go over there. That's where we meet the briefcase with the heart in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have the enchantress <laughs> and, and, and Robocop's there too, and That's he's like, first... "I really love you so much, hey, baby. You got to do it." And she's like, "I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to be an agent uh, for you listen, people." And then as soon as this happens, and the whole thing, she's like, "I gotta leave," and she's like, breaks down. Jen just turns. Me, and she's like, This is not a sustainable plan. <laughs> like, no. Can't they see from the beginning? But like, also, is this you got me the plans from Tehran. So right. now, I, I will say there's a really cool part in this where when she calls the enchantress, the hand, the hand. comes up. Great. That was awesome. Awesome. And I'm like, so That's fucking that rad. Scary. That yeah. got on the Oscar right there. And then they go get the plans <laughs> from Tehran and they, and they bring them over. And the guy's like, I'm sold on this. This is a great idea. No way. And, but you got this heart, right? There's nothing. It's if you stab wrong. the heart one time, she's dead, right? And a man was like, Yes, we don't have a way of testing that. But we just think that's how it's going to work, it right? It's good. It soup. Stab, 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 right? Just the step, step, green, step, step, green, step, right? A light comes oh, yeah. out of it. It'll be so totally cool. fine. That's option A. Option B, if that fails, Joel Kinnan will take that big fucking thrust bucket that he had in that cool sci fi show on Netflix, and he's just going to thrust that fucking into her face nope. until she passes out. That's plan B. Okay. Cool. Now let's go back to the Blackwater site. You're so cold. Put these on for no, 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 Monkey. Bit. He's got no, no, no. I'm having an allergic reaction to all this stuff, including this terrible filmmaking. <laughs> 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 we go back to uh, we go back to the black site. Real quick, right? is it possible this might be the worst movie? Like the movie I personally hate the most, and maybe all of us hate the most in all of these movies we've ever no. DCEU. No. No. In, in review, no. yeah, no. in review. No, I don't know that. No. Think what's the I other think one? There's, there's a lot a of Star Wars. There's movies. some X Men movies that I definitely Dark think. Phoenix. Uh, I'll be honest. Dark uh, Phoenix. I'll say it. I'll say it right now. Dark I, Phoenix is not worse than this. It as is. bad as this no movie way. is, I actually enjoyed watching it more a second time around than Solo. Mm. I mean, that's my thing. Is no, like crazy. this movie's bad, but like there at least there's some things. Like, I'm too it's close. Not worse. It hurts me really on too bad. many levels. See, I'm not that when close. I'm watching to it. an X Men movie and I'm bored. That's different than me fucking screaming at the TV and yelling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because I can be but bored in a movie, like, but this movie like angered me. Andy, yeah, you know? Andy. and I'm not even a huge. DC it feels movie. offensive. If we vote yeah. this above Batman v Superman, I'm all on Lord of Rings. I'm yeah? on Lord of Rings Batman. What do you think? <laughs> oh, if you man. vote this above Batman v <laughs> Superman, I will quit. <laughs> <laughs> I will quit the company. When, uh, when I first saw Suicide Squad, yeah. I it was close, but I thought I enjoyed it more than Batman v Superman in the theaters when we first watched it. Watching it now, that is absolutely not the case. Yeah, like that. No, no, yeah. no we're even fucking close. So I want to. Uh, we go back to at some point. We go back to the black. I don't right? think we're there yet, right? Because as soon as they wrap up this Joint chief shit, don't we go back to the hotel room? Where uh, 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 Kara Devalvalk is sleeping, and the, or, well, I'm calling her teleports. June Moon, and she in her sleep goes, 
Enchantress and then turns into the Enchantress right. and Rick Flag flips out and does that cool thing where he holds the gun sideways, which yeah, I'm a fan that's of. Really cool. John Wick, you gotta watch John Wick. Gets, uh, you do that I, a lot. I, I, I don't have the time. Watch he first. gets the phone though and he's like, he calls and then she's like, she's like, okay, I'll hang up. Yeah. And then and then she w- she immediately goes to where the phone call was to Viola Davis. Gets there. This is where yeah, it's introduced that the briefcase fucking beeps. Yeah. If she gets close to it, and she's like, "Fuck." She's I, like, "Oh, you know what I do?" She takes the, the she warps then to the notebook and reads about where her brother is. War- f- she goes into the closet and finds her brother. Finds her brother. Then what? And she then warps, like, and she that's warps. it. That's all we get then. Right? Oh, is that it? Later, no, 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 no. who the it's, fuck cares? Let's make the movie better and just explain yeah. whatever he's doing. She warps over to the dude. The dude gets taken over. He starts. She warps into a in. bathroom, gives the brother his juice to this guy yeah. who's <laughs> on the phone. You know what I mean? Just spurting brother juice all over. He him, starts right? taking people down. I think, I like, think that's where and it stops. And then he's all like, and then I think we like, don't okay, forward. You be her and I'll be me. Right. right? And she, he's all like, sister, what's happened to me? <laughs> they, they used to worship us, but now they don't worship us. Oh, no. What do they worship now? Now they worship technology oh, and yeah. iPhones and shit and Twitter. Make, please make a machine you never explained. By the way, just, uh, just in case, I got your I got your name on Twitter. Just, yeah. Oh, thank you so brother much. Brother Fire 2121 <laughs> underscore. I have no power now, but I'll feed on people. I'll be very powerful. It's cool. So if she stabs my heart, can you keep me alive? <laughs> oh, I'll rip your, I'll rip your heart out. Yeah, the main <laughs> MacGuffin, right? So that she goes nuts. <laughs> they stab her heart, brother. Five, they stab her heart, and she's like, "I'm dying, brother. Like, keep give me, me alive. some of your power." And he puts his hand in her chest and Thus, gives him some power, eradicating the need for the heart whatsoever. Dude, we don't need why the heart. Why have the brother? Why have the brother? Why not just have the enchantress? No, like, did we need know. any of these elements of like? No. Uh, she has a brother too, and uh, we're in a subway. And I, by and the way, and I know why have the enchantress be a part of the Suicide Squad to begin with? Why not just have She's her be a really. bad guy? Here's my and then have her go, Amanda Waller go, oh shit, we can't beat this, this is person. The thing we, we need, need to put team together four. a team of people. Like, here's my here, the, here's my Hail Mary, guys. I've had this thing in my pocket for a while. The Enchantress is taking over downtown. I've got these people in this black side. I think I can control them with this with these two characters. We'll put we'll send them in. Clean. We don't need Rick Flag. He's a lawyer. He's a patriot. That's all he needs. He's I'm a of course, patriot. I'm a, my, yeah, on top of just hating this movie and then all the stuff like it could have tied into the Justice League and Dark Side and all that shit. I don't miss right. Do they ever explain the machine she's building outside no, of? No. I'm gonna make a. I'll make a machine for them to worship, and we're all like supposed to be like, oh cool. All yeah, right. it's just the world. It's gonna be it is literally the worst cabinet. blue glowy no, 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 thing wait. that we've ever they, seen. They do explain the machine. They say that the machine is gonna kill, like destroy all the military everywhere. Yeah, well, so, at the end when it starts blowing, right? right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. like that was her plan. I'm gonna make this machine. It's gonna shoot lightning at military bases that nobody knows about because they're pulling out of Amanda Waller's brain. Right and. Once oh. there's no more military, the Enchantress can make her own army and take over everyone. Mm-hmm. That was the plan. And then that they'll worship that machine. Right, I had this weird sort of uh, hypothetical where you know when Please. when, when uh, Brother Fire twenty one twenty one on Twitter when he's when he shoots out his <laughs> long <laughs> arms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I, I, for some reason my brain just went to. I didn't get my brain drifts a lot during these movies. What if his arm just went all the way around the Earth and came back to him yeah. at that point, yeah. and then he like just went belt. sideways and just like. He just went across. Suit of armor. He just went across the world and like just took everything down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. scary. I just want everyone to know. Greg did his first ever Robert Downey Jr. impression, and it came off very Shatner. Very shy. <laughs> Pseudo armor around the world. I was gonna, yeah, I wanted Andy. You know. Pseudo armor around the world. See, Andy does it so much yeah, better than so me. So good. Oh, Where guy. are you going? Uh, you know, it's only been <laughs> two, an hour. Peeing. Tim, uh, I need to pee too, but I'm worried. Like, how am I gonna pee when I've got like? There it is, Danny. I'm so happy you I'm put wear, them I'm on wearing like the. Why like, did you put them over your pants? I, I so put. Weird. He didn't I feel put, comfortable with his bulge. So I put weird. the leggings over my my jeans, so I've got like three layers on. I'm very very worried. They look like bandages. Like you burned your legs. Uh, we, are we still moving through the plot? Did we uh, yeah, we are. Uh, nobody gives through. a this shit, but yeah, we're doing it. Here so we like are. Back. So we so got to sh- put the n- team together. Now they're taking on Midway City. The only thing that was exciting was that it was Hawkman City. So everybody's like, maybe Hawkman. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, now we got to put the team sh- thing together. Yeah. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go. We're going we're gonna to pull out Deadshot. And I need this guy to prove to me that he can shoot. So let's Why? have a nonsensical scene and useless scene with Will Smith where he's shooting targets. We already got this. He ricocheted the bullet off the we wall know. and hit the guy in the head. But, but also, they had that moment where he was like, I'm going to kill you to the the one guard that goes bad later. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. And like, everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, go for it. We don't care. I love that movie. He's like, no, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was funny. He's yeah, funny, yeah. man. But he yeah. needed to not be the main guard. Yeah. He needed to just be an idiot guard that was like dumb. He should have been. He him been being the, the leader uh, of all the other guards was too comical. S- it didn't work. Similar to the uh, the hyenas Lion King. He could have yes. been the Cheech Marine. Sure. And, yeah. But I will say this, though. There was a moment where the guy's like, hey, is it true that Killer Krog bit someone's hand off? He's like, Larry? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, just, that's just high polymer. <laughs> See, again, <laughs> I, think that, I, I could so be wrong, stupid. but I think that was added. 
Oh, I'm guaranteed. Like, I don't it remember was. that. I didn't. One being I didn't see that cut. scene. We saw the regular cut. Oh, okay. There you go. So yeah. like, it's again like that's, this movie. That's actually funny. Though. Hidden in this movie, there was a movie they wanted to be more, way more comedic, way more right? comedic, and and way more. Didn't zany. know what they wanted to be. So yeah, uh, they do that. They get Diablo, but he doesn't fight. He's peaceful now. Okay, whatever. Uh, they get Croc out too. He's the, why? Why? You right. know? Why aren't you scared when he goes talk to Rick Flag? Or why are you down here? I chose to be down here. What right. are you talking about? Like, I got you down here talking. Uh, they shoot him. They shoot him in the fucking neck with all the things. Yeah, they dope him on the bombs in there. Put the bombs in there. That's what they were doing, right? And then we. Get a scene she explains where it. There's a you know, it's a si- or he does right. There's a thing about the size of a rice in your neck, but it's got the explosive power of a grenade. And then before this, of course, uh, we got the scene where the comic guy whose name hey, Bear, can you look that guy's name up? The the he's the lead uh, prison guard. Still, so he's still so he's a comedic actor. He's been in a bunch of shit. I want to know his name. Uh, we get that scene where he's a gambler and he's got he owes a lot of money to the house. And guess who the house is owned by? Ah ah. Ah, ah. A scene that's supposed to be kind of scary, but just this weird because he's Common playing it so comically. Oh, hey, hey, everything's cool. He goes I, to kiss his hand. He's like, "See, that was insane." That felt yeah. great. Um, it's that's weird. Guys, I guess like, the the Joker learns that they've got this technology that where where they're being uh, held. Yeah, we're all jumping this stuff. all over. It's fine. They're In the extended scenes, we get more Joker scenes. In the extended version, still don't get that Act Three though. They always talk about. I, I yeah, the where one Joker's, that he's always pissed off about the like, forty five minutes of Joker that they didn't use. Yeah. So we got a little bit more of Joker in the extended scene, but God, if you close your eyes, it sounds like Jim Carrey trying to be the mask. I'm, I'm not it joking. It does. It really it's does. It's really crazy. Well, it's like he's putting too much Jim Carrey in yeah. this. Um, we get another scene where, and, and I think this movie, th- this is again where this movie just goes a little too far off the fucking rails, where he's just sitting in a circle of knives. No. And, you're like, so and, and what I want Harley. everyone to know, uh-huh. I want everyone to know that I'm crazy. Every, just so you know, I'm crazy. You know how you're going to know that? I'm not going to do anything that's specifically kind of fucking crazy, like that time where Heath Ledger put a fucking pencil down and slammed someone's head into it. It was the most single violent fucking act I've ever seen in my life, and it happened so fast that you're like, this guy's terrifying. And then he goes, walks out with a little grenade, like, hey, oh, 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 that's fucking crazy. This guy's fucking insane. No, no, this guy's like, if I were to play insane and to play downtown that they cast me in because they needed someone last minute, and I'm still reading off the fucking book. You know what I mean? That is another big problem I have with, and, and again... Wait, real quick. I don't get too what? far into it, but with Margot Robbie's character, is she insane or is she totally lucid and just playing insane? I don't know with this character. She also doesn't have any abilities. Like everyone else is kind of special. No, she has a baseball. She's play. just a baseball and a hammer and, and a big mallet that she never uses. It was the love. Does she have a big mallet? Like, look at her. That drove her insane and taught her how to do cool tricks. Like when she has not gone into the Ace Chemicals, if that's going to be your excuse. But when she rides the motorcycle in front of the car, I don't think you got to saw, see this in your cut. <laughs> rides the motorcycle, and she pulls up next to the joker and is like i love you pull over and he's like i'm not gonna pull over and then she's like fuck that so she spins out she drives the motorcycle in front of him she puts Tom it on the ground it. but climbs on top of it and like <laughs> skates Hell it down yeah, makes joker it. stop so what what is this fucking thing you think you're a pain in my ass yeah <laughs> i'm a state of mind yeah okay. that's good Man, are you are dude? good does no one want andy in any video games give where the are you Come on. <laughs> Let him be a robot character or something cool. God, it's just Jared Leto. I was telling Tim all yesterday after the Super Bowl that he just remind a lot of him being on screen reminds me of just YouTube fan made videos. Yes. Mm. Like this a- whole fucking movie is a very well made fan YouTube movie where the characters. The actors don't ever quite nail the characters, in my opinion. Their chemistry is totally off because instead of casting it, we just all the all the friends that you had in your neighborhood just came in, and you're like, "Oh, you'll be Holly Quinn." Yeah. We don't know any more women. It's just going to be you. <laughs> uh, I don't think that like for for a person who's basically like smack dab in the middle of all the promotional material, I just don't feel like Margot Robbie really nailed this character. I feel like I'm she's hoping she has a better shot at this. Totally one off. The humor she has is off. It, every line delivery, for the most part, is just so. Just wrong. I don't know, man. I, I think that's yeah. Harley Quinn. Like, I think that's no, just a big I, problem. Like, see, where I think that's a problem. Margot Robbie is yeah. dope as hell, and I think that they gave her stupid things to say. To be fair, I feel like Harley Quinn really needs a lot of help to be relevant in live action. Again, let me let me just sorry. Translate. I don't think Margot yeah. Robbie's a bad actor. I definitely don't. I loved her in Wolf Wall Street, and I thought she was fucking phenomenal once upon a time in Hollywood. I think she's a great actor. I just feel like the character I itself I was just about and I Tanya fucking about phenomenal. Time. Um, not not a good not a good example. About that was, time. That was I like the focus movie. Oh no, focus is what I'm thinking of. That movie Will focus, but she was with Will Smith. Focus on me. Very very bad. No, that's um, like your first thing. It doesn't matter. We're getting the weeds. Um, so what I'm saying is, I just don't feel like that character. 
I don't think she ever found the character. I don't think it was well fleshed out. I don't think any of the lines that they gave her to say were especially inspired. And like the part where she smashes the window and she goes, "What? We're, we're bad guys. guys. This is what we're supposed to." It's see, like, that, what the fuck is the point of that? Here's my problem, though. It's not I feel funny. like they nailed Harley Quinn. Yeah. Like that is Harley Quinn. It's just, they should have changed Harley Quinn. This Harley Quinn would have worked perfectly in a Schumacher movie. Like this Harley Quinn with. With Jim Carrey's over the top Riddler and and uh, fucking uh, Tommy Lee Jones as Two Face, like him. all of those really cartoony over the top movies. Like this movie is a little too grounded in realism with all of the other characters and their motivations and their acting style. That she's the only cartoon in this. Yeah, and she's way like she's well, playing it perfectly, but it just doesn't fit. Ooh, I don't think she's playing it perfectly. Either. I don't think. But she's I, I, think I agree with everything you're saying about her being a cartoon. I don't think she's playing the cartoon perfectly because I think the cartoon version of her was so good. The, car- that, I mean, the cartoon version. I feel like so the cartoon good. character had more things to do, is more just, relevant things, yeah. better dialogue and stuff. I, think, I that think she uh, did what was given to her in the character. Agreed, just like but do I also the think, accent. But like, I also think there's a level of performance that, and I forget the actress's name. I wish I knew the voice actor's name that did Harley Quinn in the animated series. The original one? Because yeah. Tara Strong did it in the more new stuff. Uh, well, either way, when you hear that, those characters just feel, there's a level of sincerity, the sincerity that they bring to that. Where, where you really feel like this person's empathetic because they're fucking nuts, but also because they do love Mr. J so much, what? but also because they're like, there's moments of vulnerability, there's moments of fucking insanity that you see in these animated. And this is just kind of like... Arlene Sorkin. It's 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 kind of like she only got a couple takes of this stuff and didn't get more, and they're like, we gotta just I feel on. like it's consistency. Like, like the in the animated shows, like, that, that tone seems more like... Consistent Definitely throughout. Consistent. Where in this one, we do have moments of like, oh, she's just, just totally lucid. You're just yeah, you're just a normal person right yeah. now, or like you know your response is like, oh, you know we're damaged and hurt, and it's like, well, that doesn't. That's like, a, that's a level of self awareness like, yeah, that yeah. you should not have as an insane person. The fact of the matter is, if you know you're insane, you're not insane, right? Mm. Isn't the isn't the definition of insanity that you can't tell that you're fucking insane? You know what I mean? Like that's I don't right, know. Right? Yeah. Eh, it's just Close, it's yeah. just silly. Yeah, I I I, uh, I keep. My mind keeps going back to that elevator scene where it's just so badly done and it's so cool, 90s though. comedy where she walks out of the elevator and everybody's like, huh, and they see her and she walks in and she's like, what? And then she like, keeps walking and they look at her and she's like, come on, let's go. Did they even try and they're to like, explain huh. that? Does she stop the elevator when she gets no. attacked? No, no. No, no it's just, right? No, I, just that they whole... used everything they learned from Slipknot to get up there faster than yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she should have been like she's at her best, and I and I think she's at her best when she's like just this thing that's happening and unaware of the danger or the craziness of the world around her. And like that elevator scene was, I could have been fucking hilarious if she was just in it and not she just got in the elevator and didn't realize she was leaving or didn't care that she was leaving everyone behind. But it's the fact that she turns to them and waves at them that that has a level of awareness that you're like. So she's just being a dick to these people now? I don't understand what's happening. And but then the elevator the, scene was just completely just useless. Just the comedy is just so... It's off. It's it's this off. is so, like, n- this has been done a million fucking times. Come on, let's go. And, er- like, and everybody else says, whoa, she did this? This is crazy. It's, it's so bad, Like, what dude. did she do? You know, she just went up the elevator and killed, and killed two two of these little monsters. Yeah. I, I feel two? like... I don't even remember. I, I think <laughs> it was two. It was, was two. two. I, I, to me, that scene perfectly. This that scene and the like the Slipknot not having any like backstory <laughs> that was awesome. is are so perfectly like like moments that like you can tell the people making this movie did not care. They did not put in the effort to make things seem more solid. And like that's what this movie is. See, I, I don't want to say I don't want to say people don't care because I feel like that's not true. Like I feel like David I, enough Ayer, people didn't David care. Ayer definitely cares about making a good film. He's made Training Day. It's a phenomenal film, won an Academy Award. But, but he I cared feel like, about that movie. But I feel like oh, I feel like he probably cared about this. But to Greg's earlier point, I just feel like this was a a Do combination of a lot of different things this happening at a, at a much higher I'm level. And unfortunately, he just got kind of stuck with what Sorry, he got stuck with. I'm saying the dude that approved the final edit. Did not like, care. Fuck it. Send it. Like, yeah, yeah he was like, like, it's done. Money. We've spent enough money on this. Like, statistically speaking, we're not going to make money back if we spend more time. And it, like, it really shows and it just makes, like, it's so sad because I wish the DC EU was something awesome and was building on itself. Or even, it doesn't even have to fucking build on itself. Like, just make, make good, good stories. Movies. Like, the one off comics for DC are so goddamn good. And it sucks that we're sitting here. I mean, right now, go read Harleen, so right? Much. From DC Black Label and, like, make that into a fucking movie. You know what I mean? Don't, f- I don't care about this. And it's, it's the same reason, like, Birds of Prey trailers drop. And it's just like, the second, the first one I hated, the second one I was like, okay, maybe this will be all right. But it's the same thing of, like, I can't trust you to nail this because, again, you're introducing. 
five, six different characters here that nobody really knows anything about, and like I don't oh, know the, your interpretations of them. Don't like, do the thing with the motion graphics. They'll put the words up. So we'll know exactly who Rosie Perez Which is. Which, to, to your point earlier, that you nailed, I think, of like they added all that in when they're like, fuck, we're off the rails, and we need to make yeah. it more irreverent and also tell you information. It's like Rick Flags is the most egregious, I think, where it pops up with all this information. So fast. And then it does, and the thing at the, uh, <laughs> the bottom, the last one is he has a negative three handicap, and then you hear the whoosh of like a golf club like hitting a ball. <laughs> and it's like, what, what the fuck about Rick Flags? Both generic and completely. Oh, I'm a fucking soldier character. Would you? Why would you put that in his thing? Like, well, what are you doing? I know they they're are irreverent, like, bro. They're irreverent. <laughs> everyone had a cute little movie, irreverent man. thing in there. Where Cap- Captain Fucking Boomerang loves fucking baby unicorns. That's yeah. right. He loves it, man. He loves it so much that. Man, he keeps stuffing that thing back in his coat, not expecting it. Not you don't put it in a pocket; it's gonna fall out. Yeah. You can't just keep your arm. Yeah. I love Katana getting on the helicopter. Oh my Katana god! <laughs> Let's well, quickly go through I her backstory. No, no, we're gonna get there. It was so that we already said they're there at the black site. They, they drop the off all their gag. Right. Uh, Captain Boomerang comes in a bag. He gets out of the bag, immediately punches somebody. That's cool. I thought that was funny. Slipknot yeah. gets out of the car, immediately punches that woman. I was like, and he's like, she's got a mouth. I'm like, it was unexpected at least. And then Harley gets naked, and everybody's staring her. What? And then she's like fucking back into it, and she's just in these fucking booty shorts the entire time. Everybody's got their shit. Everybody's got their gag. They get on the fucking plane. Yeah, and then at the very last second, Katana shows up. This is Katana. Jumps on. She's got my back. Katana. And you want to talk about, like, (laughs) and I... I'm with you, and I don't get me wrong, and I know that I'm more of a video game person, and and over my years, I've learned, don't say they don't care. Don't say, you know, everybody tries what they can. You want to talk about... Katana jumps in this plane, and it is like... You legitimately look like someone cosplaying at Comic Con, yep. and I'm not trying to talk shit about cos, but it's like you don't match the world at all. In the same way, Dead uh, uh, Deadshot, stupid fucking. It was for makeup though, right? Not costuming. Was it for costuming? It was makeup. Okay, good. Makeup. But Deadshot, so stupid cross. ass fucking latex mask. Like what? Why? 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 Just don't do it. Don't do it. If I saw that, if I were a director, if someone actually trusted me with something more than what we have, what we do here in the studio, and I saw that costume, I'd be like. We're just not going to use it. Guys, We're just not again, it looks like it. CW just stuff. Like, what are you Katana. doing? This is, this is Katana. Everybody she kills, their souls get chopped in the sword. Like, whoa, I mean, I whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> boomerang. He throws boomerangs. Hey, it's Harley Quinn. She's a little crazy. This fucking sword <laughs> has the <laughs> souls of all of its victims <laughs> trapped in it for what? We think thousands of years. Imagine, right? right? right. This right. is a pretty the big sword. deal. The sword. Maybe if we killed the chances, we could capture her power. And then they try to have that one heartwarming moment where they cut to her and she's talking to her. Dead That's dad. way later. Oh, husband, 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 yeah. husband, husband. And they're like, oh, "Yeah, she's talking to her husband again." All the souls. <laughs> 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 and again, in a movie where like they've run through the streets and ki- oh, many, many streets, just killed thousands of these fucking things, right? Like none of them are ever feel to be in danger, even when they're like, "Oh man, this last mission, it's a fucking sorceress from another dimension or whatever the fuck." You're, th- none of the, like they're not really that worried about it. And she's bawling, talking to this thing, and if I don't make it back, I hope we'll be reunited. I'm like. Why are you the only fine. one who's like, yeah, whatever? But also, we don't really have a sense of what this machine's supposed to do. We were, we were told that it's a world-ending machine, but like... You see, at one point, it's spread out all across the United States, this giant smoky tendrils yeah, and shit or whatever. Like, okay. And then uh, everyone, but everyone, no one else really feels like... like Killer Croc vomits on the fucking helicopter. Yeah. Another thing that I was thinking added. Did you see that, that, was that movie? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, more conversating on, we've also, on At there. this point, we've also seen um, Flag before he came here, I think had to take on the guy in the subway. They put the bomb there, but everyone got overrun yeah, by this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So the bomb's but, there for the And you for saw later. most of it, but not all of it, because I want to show you everything you saw already, but then with a little bit more later on right. in the motion picture. Yeah. Um, trying to make a runtime here. So there, So the goal is they have to go into this, what, what's the place called? Meteor City? <laughs> Midway City. Midway City, right? and they have to save an asset. We don't know who that asset is, but the entire time Amanda Waller's telling them where to go and how to go. So they get on the helicopter, and the helicopter gets shot down, and you're thinking, oh, here's a great moment to shed one of these fucking extraneous characters that we don't need. <laughs> like maybe Scott they Eastwood. They could have done the Deadpool thing. Yeah, or maybe kill Rick Flagg, and then, oh God, what do we do? We're left without a leader, and then someone has to step up and be a leader. No, 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 everyone's fine. We, Where we, Invisible <laughs> Man hits the fucking... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> think of all those deaths in, in uh, Deadpool too. But no, it, this has zero consequences, as this is this whole Movie. It's just a what I imagine they thought was a cool fight scene, but really wasn't. I, I think I do enjoy the Harley Quinn core. We're in the building fight, right? No, no, I'm no, talking. No, we just we just got out of the thing. Uh, now we're going. Jesus we go and we see all the, the plane, just, so we've crashed. We're out of the thing. We go. None of the choreography is fun here. No, no. this thing's it's wearing so a three thousand dollar watch. We've got that thing. Yeah, They're shooting yeah, everyone. Yeah, Deadshot yeah. gets a pa 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 pa. And I'm that's like, how you cut. That's how I cut. That's how I cut and run. And it's like I don't. What are you talking about? Like the entire time. What the fuck are you talking about? This is Rick Flag. The entire time is 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 talking shit 
to a person who is a known paid killer about, about his inability to have loyalty. And the entire time, Floyd Lawton's like, yeah, I'm a fucking paid killer. I'm a bad guy. I don't fucking care about any of these guy. people. Duh. Why would I? I don't care. I am a fucking prisoner. Anyway, he gets a pop, 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 pop. And it's Will and Smith. And like, so it's so cool. cool. I love Will Smith. Yeah. And I think Will Smith does a, a moderately totally. decent job of do, doing he looks cool. something with yeah. what he did. Bald head, beard, love it. Yeah. I want to shave my head so bad my wife won't let me. Um, so they, we've killed all these bad <laughs> characters relatively easily, yeah. thus ensuring that the next time, the next 15 times we see them, there will be no tension whatsoever. As long yeah. as Will Smith's got bullets, they're all dead. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he's got billions of bullets because yeah. they I presumably do cash drops like yeah, in the middle of these We things. saw that, that slow-mo. So is the next the scene where they're walking over to the building that where they have to find the asset? But yeah. this is also and where they're all, all sort of sudden, doing the back. Uh, they're doing the, hey, there's a lot of flashbacks. If you're stuff, out, yeah. no, if, hey, if we team up, we're fucking out of here. They're, they're, right, they're so Cap- the Captain Boomerang is like, like, hey man, Slipknot, like, you know this is fake, right? Slipknot right? being no, the that already shit. Happened. That already happened. Oh, that already yeah. happened. But then we get more then. of that. We get more they of They can't blow us all Harley, up. Yeah, Harley walking up to so and so, and then she walks up to Fire Guy. We don't have a suicide squad. She walks up to Fire Guy, and he's like, nope, not with me. Like, which I thought was. Hey, I'm just here to hang out, funny. guys. Yeah, I'm just here to hang out. But I think a lot of that was in the extended cut because every it feels like every character walks up to each other to try to yes. plot something. Yes. And then. Eventually, like characters that aren't even in this Harley's movie walk walking, up to yeah. talk to each other. Harley's <laughs> walking up to everybody, and then everybody sort of has their back and forth with her, and then she walks up to Fire Guy, and immediately she's like, hey, and he's like, nope, and he just cuts her off, and it's like, oh, it's supposed to be a comedic Because beat. Fire Guy, by the way, doesn't kill anymore. Worked a little bit. He doesn't want to kill anymore. He's like Martin Lawrence from Bad Boys too. He does not want to pull the trigger. Yeah. But it's he made this happen. decision after, or he, after killing his family by yeah. accident, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But then he, he lost also, control in the yard. He lost control so in the yard. So that wasn't on purpose where he no, was like, he loses control. Look, I'm, I, here's my crowd. <laughs> Fuck you guys. No, that, that was, was an accident. Purpose. That wasn't but on also, okay. but you have to, what so you, maybe he didn't kill his family what, on accident. You know what, what I mean? Well, but let's be perfectly honest because this guy's definition of a family is very loose. If you remember at the end of this, he's like, I'm not going to let my other family. <laughs> these, are, uh, these are my family now. What are I'm you not gonna talking about? That, what is this movie? That's just them. I've been with these people for at least three hours. And they're my familia. They, may be a, they serve me a water and a bar. <laughs> we are family now. I mean, that's what the fuck. Let's that's keep, another let's point keep of the movie, this. like this movie, being like, okay, um, at this point, Guardians of the Galaxy did this thing. We need to do that thing too. Yeah, but at this point, like, any, oh, well, doesn't uh, matter. okay, let's move. Thing. Let's keep moving. So they kill all those things. Yeah, we have Slipknot's head gets blown off. Thank God. It's, I thought that was fucking hilarious because he just goes. First off, his power is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> And he just Climb slowly anything. starts, and then he gets blown up. That He's was got funny. Grappling hook. Uh, they kill all the blob things. Some of the effects in the blob things I thought were cool, like when the eyes, when everything blinks. I thought, I thought it, it looked cool. cool. Yeah. Um, but totally generic and stupid. They go. They're like, okay, this is the building. We have to have some sort of plan. And I think it was his dead, uh, dead shot. Just smashes through the window. He's like, "Fuck you, let's go. Let's just go in the thing." Mm. Maybe it was Harley. Who knows? That's when Harley gets in. Harley gets in the. Elevator. Now this is the best part of this movie, right? Because they go upstairs, and the asset. Uh, is in this room, and they have to go in this room, but it's surrounded by these these bad, bad things, right? And Will Smith's like, you got to fucking burn all these things alive, man, you homie, 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 and it pisses him off, and the guy well, now, burns Now, before everything. we get there, we have the fight scene that I was talking about when they do get up there and fight in the office oh, right. complex or whatever. That's right, that's before I, I like Harley's acrobatics here. I, I like when she, like, Hurricane Rana's the dude and, like, shoots around sure. and they spin around. Again, back to our point of just, like, all right, cool. The, the Ace Chemical back. She does like a know. sliding under right. move. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've already the rest at this of it, point super boring. We've already at this point seen the flashback with her with and Common, where for no reason Joker kills Common after like, giving her Harley. Like that was yeah, it's so dumb. That was supposed um, to be the disrespect thing, right? Don't work with the Joker. He was yeah, don't ever be, disrespect him. Yeah, yeah, this is still Amanda Waller. I think back in the, the and, talking of the joint, she yeah, was yeah, yeah. and the oh, disrespect right. was that he was like, "Hey, good for you. She's yeah, hot. She's hot." And then of course they go in to get the asset, and it's revealed, which I thought was actually kind of an interesting, cool twist that it's actually Amanda. She's been trapped in the city, and she ordered the team to come get her out. And when Deadshot sees her, he goes, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Like, there's no, you can't go out there. There's no way this team's going to be happy with that. Except for that's not the case. Because we get a line, like, moments later where he's like, I told you to leave earlier. And she was like, I wanted to stay and test it out. So she didn't get so stuck dumb. there. She chose to stay but there then, to have an excuse to bring the team in. Now, see, mm-hmm. what, what, I was thinking Amanda Wall. It's a bad movie. But then she makes a, a decision that I thought was... Arguably the dumbest choice of this entire movie. She just decides to kill her entire team for no reason. And it the shows reason, everybody else how expendable they are too. Exactly. But 
the, more importantly, it shows that the filmmakers were like, we don't know what to do with the rest of these characters, and someone has to die. Now, again, if if someone trusted me with anything more than just unpacking a fucking Twinkie in this life, and they gave me the keys to this kingdom, and they were like, Nick, direct this, I would have been like, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have her, the, the bad things that are going to, they're going to breach the wall, they're going to start killing her, and right before she dies, Deadshot's going to come save her, right? And he's going to realize it's her that he's saving the entire time, they're going to have that great scene. Instead... They kill the five things that are outside and then casually walk in. And everyone's like, oh, they're here. That's great. We're all safe. And then Amanda Waller has to kill everyone because she's the bad guy. But what's not fun the bad guy. is that she just becomes this evil villain character in this one scene. Whereas before, you're almost like she's actually kind of interesting because she's taking these bad guys and putting them to good use. Granted, she's doing them through very questionably them, moral yeah. uh, ways. But it's an interesting dichotomy of who's the bad guy in here. But now we know for sure she's the fucking bad guy because she just mercil- <laughs> mercilessly killed five innocent people for no fucking reason. And Alfre, or not Alfre, excuse me, Viola Davis is probably like, what? Why, do I have to do this? And they're like, yeah, you have to do this because money. And she goes, fuck. But I'm on a really popular TV show. And they're like, well, TV's dead. TV's dead. <laughs> Movies sure are the is. way of the future. So then anyway, they go to the roof. They go to the roof. Helicopter and the helicopter comes. comes in. I'll send one for you. And I like I like this scene. Because I like the scene where, because this, she's like, they're, they're radioing to it, and they realize they're like, oh no, the bird's been compromised. And as, as it turns, we see out of the butt. Who's in the butt? Uh, the guy from True Blood and the Joker. The Joker. Yeah. That's awesome. And he's in the tux. Yeah. And I love that. And he's got that <laughs> fucking gold AK 47. Viola Davis. Oh, Viola Davis. Already crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course it crashed because uh, the, the Fire Tendrils, Brothers, yeah, 87, They want to get the heart, <laughs> they're, they're, they're the heart and the military they secrets. They plugged her up to the thing and now they got all the military secrets. I appreciate it too. So many, how, I, I, I can't prove this, but my belief in retconning of history on this one is that there are so many meaningless helicopter crashes in this movie. They put a big 23 on Viola Davis's helicopter. So you can always be like, oh, that's, that's hers. That's but, what's happening here. Uh, as her helicopter takes off, Kevin brought up a very interesting point. Point, that helicopters are best when they're flying only five feet off of the air uh, in the demilitarized zone where people can shoot easily at them. Why? So they decide Why? to take off. They're, by the way, they're at the top of a skyscraper. And they decide to go all the way down to the street they d- and then go all the way. Down, and then by, by, the, by the time they start to crest back up, that's when brothers, Brother yep. Fire Arm. hits them. Uh, and they're it, it, shooting out chaff, which is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a cool scene. That but why would cool. you just get up, shoot out the chaff, and then go all the way up? Gone. Yep, You're gone. 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 Stupid. Anyway, so the Joker dumb. comes and Harley Quinn jumps on the thing, and they're uh, reunited. And they're reunited Circus finally. Soleil. And 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 she's like, "You better kill him, her, and I'll and I'll Why give you back your daughter." And he goes, "Okay." And he misses on purpose. Oh, now you're talking. I was like, "Oh man, I, I don't remember this. I hope he shoots." And then he doesn't. I'm like, "Whoa." Why? You and, and and then of course it'll be revealed in 50 minutes. Of course, you don't really kill people, Holmes. You you only kill you only kill men. You don't kill women and children, homie. I kill everything, <laughs> even the things I love by accident. I lose control, but then I'm in control. But I have a crown. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> so uh, uh, Violet Davis is gone. Harley Quinn gets uh, blown up and f- and she and falls. She falls, falls the into back. the roof. With I actually think it's cool because she goes and like spins and pops back up and Makes like watches. Sense. Even though she was falling like to her back, like yeah, she was yeah, gonna yeah. just <laughs> bro. She's the Catwoman, right? Yeah. Catwoman nine always lives, lands boom, on her feet. Yeah. But that's stu- I mean, I, uh, so now we, she, we glossed over so quickly of Harley Quinn pretending to get shot and then like. Back. Like what? What are they? What was your idea there, man? What the fuck? I don't dude? know. So Joker maybe is dead. We don't she know. She de- No, for her, she, he is dead Joker's as a doornail. Sure right. She is. But I mean, it's over. Let's be fair. The helicopter crashes and explodes, and we don't see him get oh, off. It doesn't just crash and explode. It gets shot by a missile. Yeah, yeah. missile to the and front, explodes. Yeah, and yeah. as it explodes outward, she gets pushed out the back because she's standing on the tail. So how so, the fuck did he survive? Because so he's the Joker. She he's lands awful. on a roof and she's like, "Fuck." I gotta go back to the other guys. So she goes all the way back to the ground and sits on a car outside, and then takes off the pudding necklace and like throws it because he's dead and she will not have anything that has his name on right. it. And then they come she out. And she plays so dumb that she's happy. What the fuck? And then movie? they go like this. Well, I guess we're beat, right? Because because that's gone and this is happening and that's all happening. So let's go into the, have a bar scene. No, no, not yet. Is that not happen? What happened is that. They go to try to get to Waller. <laughs> Waller's already been, the her bird's been torn apart by the dudes. She's right. gone. They all start walking, but Deadshot gets the binder. Will Smith that has read all, their names all 9,000 pages. And he sees the real God, thing yeah. here is this enchantress and her little brother. That's the big right, problem. So right. he throws the thing at Flag, and he's like, you tell him or I'll tell him. As if... Any of this like matter. what is it'd be like it'd be like it, yeah, that scene makes sense if like you and Tim have a secret and you and we're all in a room having a kind of funny meeting not like a bunch of fucks that don't give a shit about each other whatever yeah. so it's revealed that oh. yeah you're not we're not actually here on whatever fucking dirty bomb shit happened the uh, the thing in the 
The thing, the Tower of Light with the Ring of Trash isn't a dirty bomb. It's more alien tech shit that you've seen or whatever, right? <laughs> and they're like, fuck this. We're going to go get drunk. You can blow me up if you want to. And they walk into the scene at a bar, them drinking or whatever. Which, on paper, again, cool scene. I'd love to see these guys shoot the shit and drink. But, like, in this movie and how they do it and everything else, just no. Yeah. You know, nope, they, nope, they spent, this was nope, such nope. A, a, a softball. It's just like, you should be able to just knock What do you want, Croc? <laughs> Yeah, like, right, give me a beer. Beer. <laughs> okay, beer. What about you? I'll take a bourbon. Cool. I'll, Here's I'll a bourbon. What about you? Why are we ordering drinks still? Just give them fucking drinks, Harley. Pop on the bar and start <laughs> pouring drinks for people so we can start fucking talking. This is the scene we all look forward to from the fucking preview. This is going to be a funny scene. It's going to be a moment where the Guardians of the Galaxy actually gel as a family. That's what we're going to get. We don't get that, though. We no. don't get that. We're going to talk about Kevin Bacon five times. This is going to make 80s Nick feel fucking great. Rick Flag walks in, though, and he's like, he's all crybaby about it. She's, she's like, yeah, she's I've never loved anybody, but I love this woman. You're all free to go and smash his cell phone. He's like, yeah. All right. By the way, you're not free to go because this is just a device that controls those. Right. There's lots of other devices. Thank God there's no fail safe yeah if that ever if got it, destroyed yeah, yeah, yeah. then all they would just explode but because yeah, yeah. they already established that he if he dies apparently they, they would die. all explode so psh, you just had to smash this the entire time but How no funny they, just, they all pop one. and he's like oh fuck, fuck I forgot I forgot it does <laughs> that. Oh, damn really god bad. it does yeah. that Credits. anyway uh so then they're like fine you know what you're all free to go boomerang bounces rick's like i'm still going for it and they're all like one by one, like we'll do it to you, Rick, or whatever. I want my daughter to know I'm a good guy. And it's not actually, like yeah. Not Deadpool, or uh, Deadpool. Uh, you are Deadpool. Deadshot is in, and then Harley's like, "What? I got, I got nothing better to do." I'm like, cool. she doesn't Great say it like, she doesn't say it crazy, right? She doesn't say it like. She's heartbroken and has lost the will to live because of Joker. Just a lot of gray for you to Y'all fill in whatever you want. To do? Yeah, exactly. I'm and so crazy. they don't. So they all go, it's and then Boomerang gets there too, and they walk there. And I was like, "This is." I was telling Nick this morning about this movie where I'm watching <laughs> it, and I'm like, "Man." I heard this. Still really hate this movie. But then it gets to this point where I'm like, I legitimately don't remember how this ends yep. and where this leaves Harley mm-hmm. getting ready for this. So it's like, all right, cool. They're entering into the building. The thing is, there's going to be a great fight scene. Nope, they just walk straight to the objective yeah. and then hide behind pillars while Enchantress and monologues. She knows they're there. She knows they're there. Harley starts to go. They stop her. She blah, gives blah, them a little uh, dream. Important to note yes, that. Yes, then she enchants them to give them <laughs> dreams. We'll just show you three of the dreams. We're not going to show what? We're not going to show you all the dreams. Like, you know, they're all in this place. All right, yeah. all right. And all it took was Diablo to be like, no, yeah. no, she's playing with your heads, y'all. My and family's dead. Yeah. I accidentally killed her. You're my family Definitely now, not on guys. Purpose. Slipknot is down in hell, and he's like, I can climb anything. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just climbing a small mountain. He's like, hey, wow, well, yeah. Uh, uh, Scott Eastwood is uh, in the sewers with, with Killer, Killer Croc. Croc, right? Who did that weird walk on the thing, and like also, oh my like god, I said, he got like, undressed, and it was like, why would whoa, this be the whoa, aesthetic? Look at you. You're just an elderly you're old like wizard man. man. It looks you know so I mean? much like Nick. Yeah. Oh, it does. It does. I'm not trying to be mean. This is the weirdest part of the. That this decision. is the weirdest to part. Nick. I'm well, they, I, I mean, it's that character decision, decision was that they cast this actor who I don't know who this guy is. I, I don't recognize Still him though. from his name. Uh, and he's not especially built. And he's not especially a good actor. And he's not a name. So why did we cast this guy? Why didn't you? You Suicide Squad. You could have gotten fucking... I mean, you could have gotten anyone. Anyone, this character. just a large just person, a jacked just a out large fucking person. dude. Because this guy's not good. The at line mountain delivery. would have done like done enough acting for Any this. Any of this stuff, uh, but they got this guy, and he takes his shirt off, and he's got giant shoulders and just like a flabby belly with old man skin like me. And I'm like, whoa, this dude, is just not whoever smart. this guy was. Uh, his name was Adewale, and he was in Congo in 1995. Wow, yeah, good cool. movie. Drew Box. He's been a lot of other stuff since then, but what he's a boxer. Is Born Identity, he? Mummy Returns. Uh. Uh, either way, we don't know who he is because he's covered with uh, with crocodile latex m- Oscar makeup. Oscar winning terrible. makeup. Oh, uh, whatever. I feel bad for him because he was in this movie and he was also in uh, Thor Dark World. Thor the Dark World. <laughs> yeah. So the fight's going on upstairs with Enchantress. She sucks all their guns away. They're all fucking rolling around and fighting shit and getting punched. Enchantress and reminds you a lot of Shakira from last night. Sure. Yeah, I can see that 100%. I see that 100%. Angela. Then finally the brother shows up and they're like, we got to get him to this corner of the room to blow up that corner of the room that'll definitely kill this super god. God. Of course it'll make. Of course it will. Yeah, why wouldn't the bomb kill it? By the way, the um, unbelievable hellfire that fucking burned through his chest didn't kill him. And that's what but happens. Yeah, this cool bomb should probably kill him. Diablo becomes El Diablo, takes on the fu- super demon form or whatever of fire CG monsters, just fight another dumb fire CG monster, and they're just fucking burning each other. And I, oh, I was looking at like, oh, this is really cool. He's like, hey, homie, don't fuck with my family. And Will Smith's like, we're not quite there. Yet. Yeah, that's just we're not you're quite there. Steps yet. there, Diablo. We need to hang a couple. We have to have a couple more barbecues. It took a while for with. me to care about the Fast and Furious yeah. family. Right. Guys, yeah. come on. It's three so eventually they get him to the corner though, and like he Diablo's still there, and he's like. Blow it! 
and Will Smith's like, er, blow it. Or, yeah, Will Smith's like, blow it. And then so they blow it. And <laughs> blow it. Oh, <laughs> down, it. down <laughs> below, yeah, down below, yeah. Scott Eastwood gets blown up, too. And nobody even gives a fuck. No. Nobody gives no. a flying fuck about him. Because, again, what was his character's name? Well, no. Harley didn't want Fire Brother 2121 to go on fire. Yeah, I know. Like, she was, like, worried about him, you yeah, know? Yeah, he was yeah. like, blow it. And uh, Harley was like, don't do it. So they blow it, and that blows him up. And I guess that depowers Enchantress, right? So she's back to demon, being yeah. normal Enchantress. the demon, or the, the other, her brother gave her the power, Yeah, right? exactly. Leveled so she's up. all like, uh, I'm standing around here. Uh, and everybody's cool. talking to her like, uh, like, and what are Captain you doing Captain Bang, no. Captain Bang Boomerang. 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 Boomerang is just like, oh, hey, here's the heart. Um, what, should, should we do something with it? I'll crush it. You don't have the balls to crush it. And he crushes it, and she's dead. God, man, they, they really gave up. Like, I know they, fight they a gave up bit. a long time ago, but this whole no, part of no, 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 not sl- them. No, no, he means the writers. Yeah. yeah. He means the writers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it yeah. totally felt like the moment that they go, they're like, we need a, a, a final scene in this movie. They need to fight something. All right, walk into the room. There's a thing that's glowing thing. Uh, What are we going to do? I don't know. Let's just get to the credits. Just... So what, they turn what? around and it looks like she uh, Moon's dead too, but guess what? She's not dead. It's just, just a bunch covered of skinny skins and stuff. And so back to, ar- like, to archaeology. Dead shots like, hey, what's this all about? And like Rick Flag turns around, and she pulls it off, and then they kiss and they're alive. Yay. Well, um, did the extended version have Harley the Quinn Harley Quinn right? slicing her with a sword? Hmm. Yeah. I think I mean I, I, I remember the, her slicing. Is that slicing. how they got the, the heart out? Yeah, she's yeah, 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 that's right. She slices her and the heart just kind of goes bloop. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. she's like, I'll be a servant. Why not? You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah, one yeah, doesn't yeah. care about us. And then uh, she walks up and says, "I'll do anything for you." Like, you why? shouldn't have messed with she's my a, friends, right? She's she says no- that. Like, why do you even want Harley Quinn in your army? Kill her. She doesn't whoa, have whoa, superpowers. Hey, they earned mercy. Remember? Right, yeah, they, they fought. She fought. says that they fought. Like, it, was, it impressed her very but, much. Yeah, fought. but then she's like, they she, killed her brother. She's cool with it. <sighs> this is so mad. Dude. Let me get the sword and trap uh, this. Fu- Let me add to this the souls that trapped in this sword. She didn't kill her with a sword, though. So Kara Delavine comes back, and guess what? They're going to be happily ever after. But, like, I need all this stuff. And then, and I'm, I'm, I'm not. Go- and then she, Amanda Waller walks in. And she's like, I still got the fucking keypad, idiots. And they're like, oh, no. You had the thing on your head, and it was blowing up everything, by the way. A whole bunch of military bases are sure, wiped off. Sure. The, or mm-hmm. Our big satellites wiped out. A whole bunch of shit happened that'll never be referenced. That was or touched our on big satellite. Goes. That's how it works. Uh, it's so, one big satellite. Uh, I still got the thing. Like you're no, Shut. this sucks. We're gonna go be free. And she's like, no, you're not. And then he's like, well, I want to see my daughter, and I, and I want, I want to express a machine, and I want fucking kill her. Yeah, kill her. You are the bad guys. Unified. Kill her. One of throw the katana at her arm. Maybe she takes out one of you, but we trap her arm soul in the fucking like. Fuck off. Fuck off with this happy ending where they all go back to jail. I, you can it get is, whatever you want. Is, I want to see reality. my daughter once. Does every appendage of your body have a soul? Yeah, totally. Okay. <laughs> it's like Clayface <laughs> the in arm soul. the hit DC Universe cartoon, Harley Quinn. There you go. Um, but now they're like, yeah, and, and, and what does Croc want? B-E-G. All right, fuck, here we go, everybody. You get 10 years off your sentence for Boomer Kawanga. Yeah, he's like, I have double sentence. Yeah, I, I have triple, 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 triple sentence. And then you think that something's going to get re- resolved there, and she's like, I don't care. And he's like, And then okay. they cut to him, and he's the only one that's still suffering. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, ah, I should have said something. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, and, uh, Will Smith teaches uh, math to his kid by talking about, and she knows it by killing, which is just wonderful, heartwarming. No, it's not good. Uh, Rick, it's just wonderful and heartwarming. Rick flags there, and he's like, "All right, let's go. Don't put the don't put the shackles on in front of the. All right, whatever the fucks." And then Harley Quinn, she's drinking. Exp- well, BET's being watched. Harley Quinn, she's drinking espresso, and then boom, the wall blows up, and it's, it's the, the Joker, Joker crew. The Joker isn't dead. Yay! And he b- grabs her, and they they embrace, and they maybe kiss. I forget, but they definitely embrace. And then that's it. Credits until, of course. Bon, 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 we're at another steak dinner house. This part. It, it, man, Amanda Waller. Do you not watch a it? Lot of yeah, no. Yeah, I, man, we I, were fucked done. Up, I fucked up with the Xbox and it like accidentally skipped to the end. I'm like, I'm not. I don't care. This. Yeah, <laughs> what, what was it? It was uh, Amanda Waller and Bruce Wayne at the table. That's right. Where she's like, hey, I need this and he needs this and blah, blah, blah. And so finally they come to the agreement and she passes him a, f- a binder that starts with uh, Enchantress. Enchantress, right? And then it's Flash and then it's Aquaman. And she's like, why would you want this? He's like, I just like to make friends or whatever. And he gets up to leave. And she's like, you should probably stop working nights. You're starting to look ragged or whatever, something to that effect. And he turns around with a very batman voice and is like, you better shut it down or me and my friends will come and stop you. She's like, you, you don't even know those people. Yeah. Yeah, I just gave you the binder, you moron. But hey, didn't he about, have- like, Wonder Woman and Dead Superman. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dead Superman. <laughs> Wonder Woman did a lot when this, him and Wonder Woman did a whole lot when the fucking everything's being blown up. It's far away, you know. <laughs> 
Seven syllables in the middle. Hold on, real quick, too. Five fucking shit. I know I can only say the big game, but I mean, like, fuck that big game Tide commercial. Because when it looked like it was going to be a Wonder Woman 84 thing, I got so fucking stoked. Yeah. Yo, and no. then it was Charlie Day with the fucking laundry. Fuck like, you. Fuck off. Greg, I'm on the opposite side. I was like, oh shit, it's going to be Wonder Woman. I'm pretty fucking stoked. I was like, oh, it's just some Tide bullshit. Oh shit, Charlie Day's back. Yo, you got me, man. He was Wait, there the whole shout time. out to Charlie Day in the Super Bowl. One more quick question. Big game. Big game. Uh, big game. Did. Is that where Bruce Wayne gets the information on all these people? No, but he, he got already it. Had, he had some of it. Over. He needs some more. But like he's thorough. He hasn't found them. <laughs> uh, that's so dumb. Seven syllables in the middle. You need five for the first and last line. If you're not poetic, no need to fret it. Haikus don't need to rhyme. Haiku in review. This movie fucking sucks. There's a lot of weird ones here. Not a lot of sense being made. Like uh, you can go to patreon.com slash kind of funny to write your review in haiku form, just like Nick Diaz did. This team makes no sense. Belly dancing is weak. How does Killer Croc? <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pedro Guzman says, oh my, this movie sucks. Viola Davis was the best part. Release the air cut. No. I think this was what it was. It was it. This yeah, was yeah, the cut. It was good. Uh, that Matt We're Bauer says, about, like, such a good here. trailer. <laughs> movie should have been better. Margot Robbie, yes. Yeah, she was pretty good to look yeah. at. And then Briar Rabbit Don't says, be... Harley's crazy hot. Will worry. shoots and scores a headshot. Croc is beautiful. Mm, no. <laughs> and uh, Mason Hall says, this film was to be The Guardians of DC. Really tortures me. Mm, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like Chances, too. There is a witch, some stupid CGI shit, a film to ditch. There we go. Thank you, Chance. Thank you, Chance. Let's do some ragu fucking bagu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rad Guys Talk Bad Guys. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the glue, Kevin Coelho, the Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. What's up, guys? Just put it on Twitter, ragu bagu vids. Okay, great. And then over there, Tim Gettys. Hey, what's up? What's up? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm pretty good. No, but your audience for this one, remember? No, well, maybe if you had it, you're just like Warner Brothers. You're not You're not committed to the bit. You took your costume off. sometimes Warner Brothers has to pee in the middle of these. If you didn't know, this is where we rank all the villains in the DCEU here in review. So far, the list stands like this. Number one, and remember, I don't update my, I don't correct it once it's on the page. Number one's odd. Number two, Room's Lex. Which, of course, means Doomsday and Lex. This is the last time I'll explain it. So if you join us in one room, and that's on you. <laughs> um, guys, where do we want to put Enchantress and her baby brother? Dead last? Right. Great. Dead cool. Last. Let's yeah. move on and go home. Good. Cool. Good. Fuck this movie to the ground. That was bad. Amanda um, Waller's not on there at all? No. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. No. And even if she was, who cares? Yep. Viola right. Davis, so good. Matter. Amanda Waller, the character in general, so good. Such a waste here. Such mm. a waste. Mm. Uh, time to her. rank the DCEU. At number one. D- what, if Batman I just don't even want to fucking say, say it. it. It's, right. it's a good movie. At number it's one a good movie. on any list ever, we have <laughs> Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Oh, oh yeah, movie. buddy. At number two, we have Man of Steel. This is number three with a bullet. I think this is better than stone. Batman v Superman. No, you I'll don't. I'm so you. tempted. <laughs> I just feel like if we voted for it, it would make me so happy for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> and this list doesn't. Not matter. even the next week. The next three or four days. Yeah. And then you'll love Lord of the Rings. Oh, 100%. Okay. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I'll even love a little bit of The Hobbit. Okay. Just a little. <laughs> We're not watching The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Right? No. 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 Like I was saying earlier, I, I, I can't believe that like this movie is as bad as it is. Right. And like, I didn't like it to begin with. Like I, I hated it to begin with. But I just I hated Batman v Superman as well. Well, but watch Batman v Superman, the ultimate cut. I'm like, all right, it's not the worst thing in the world, but man, we're just dealing with. Some but fun this here. is the worst thing I'm, in the yeah, world. Yeah, like I mean, I think it's the worst thing in the world, but it's, it's, it's the worst really thing in this franchise bad. for sure. Uh, right so now. far, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think. No, we yeah. never get back here. This is this is the one I've been dreading because this is the this is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. So you can only go. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about Birds of Prey. Friday, of course. Tune in. in I don't know. The one thing I'll say about this movie, and I, this is not necessarily a huge compliment, but like, there was no moment I was like, "Why is this movie not fucking over?" It kind of moves. Oh, God, there was no, 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 things plenty of moments great. where I was like, they could, they, "I wish they just gave up." I'm not saying I'm, like I there's not things that are you, cut. Then, yeah. This movie ended, and I was like, "Huh?" Like, they're, they're, I, I at no point was like. Fuck, this is so boring. It's just oh, at think, one point we paused, maybe 40 minutes left, and I was like, God, 40 the, fucking minutes. I think the movie kept me going because it wasn't a ton of back-to-back boring stuff. I think it was a ton of back-to-back really bad stuff. Empty that stuff. That kept me going because I was so interested in, man, how, what, these choices that no, they're making. At these some, filmmaking at some choices. point, something better will be around yeah, the corner. Yeah. It, just, it, just it, was, it, was more, it was more a shock valley for me where... Yeah. <laughs> Each scene was as bad as the last <laughs> Worse. one. Worse. Yeah. 
Um, when you brought up all the uh, the in review series earlier, I think you're maybe trying to get ahead. Was it you bringing up the all the interviews we've done and being like, "Is this the worst movie we've ever?" Reviewed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I put this down there with like I don't know if like this is worse than Attack of the Clones for me or not, but hmm. this is way down there, man. This it's down there, but yeah, for me, there's Attack of the Clones, Bad Boys One, oh, no, oh, multiple oh, of the X Men movies. Bad Boys One's great. I think maybe only uh, Wolverine great, Origins. Huh? I would put this. What uh, about uh, Spider Man Three? I mean, I don't even want to. I don't even. But a lot of the, a lot of them are bad hornet's nest. There are a lot I of really bad movies that had comedic value because they were so bad. I, I think this one's this just is, more yeah, shocking. Yeah. Again, I think it's that I'm so close to this, the DC stuff of it or whatever. But and I know I haven't been on every in review. I would say this <coughs> is the worst for me personally. Like even the X Men movies that I was bored with or whatever. Even Bad Boys, what I didn't like them. I didn't like despise them. I wasn't sitting there being like every decision like why why is this happening? Oof, yeah, I don't know. I. Many of these movies, I felt that way. Uh, anyways, voting for this. Who thinks it's better than Man of Steel? Raise your hand. None of us raise our hand. It's number three, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Great. Uh, this week, we are also doing Birds of Prey. Ka-ka! The fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. It will be on Friday that we review this movie. I will not be there. I will watch it, though. I am watching I will not movie. be there either. And I will give you my review. Oh, yeah, Andy won't be here. Oh. Andy's going to be traveling the world. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to be blind. Wonder triplets unite, you know what I'm saying? That's you, Kev. Oh, Kevin, are you gonna wear the bat? You're gonna wear the Robin suit next week. I'll figure something out. Okay. Until we should find some kind of three. We should find some kind of three person DC comic. We can all be. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Bye. Let's all, Bye. Be, let's all be crypto the dog. Ah. <laughs>